The thoughts, views, and opinions expressed by this podcast as well as its hosts are for entertainment purposes only. I repeat, it is not serious. It is not real. No one is exposing, revealing, indicting, or telling you anything about themselves. Also, we do not encourage you to try this at home. We are trained professionals who do not have your best interests at heart or our own. <laughs> Enjoy the show. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yo, 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 yo. Energy up. Yeah, what's up? Fuck is poppin'. Salute. I see y'all. First comment, I see you. Yeah. What's up? They be hype. First. Yeah. First they be I here. Lie. One day I was first, but I couldn't find the, the send, the publish button. And nigga beat me. My first was second. I had to delete the shit. Yo, can, we, can, we go, can we all get a free Patreon so we could be in the Discord? That's dope. So we can communicate with the niggas on Discord. <laughs> Go ahead. Tell your little silly ass joke. Go ahead. I'm not saying so I'm looking at you, man. A direct eye contact. All right, man. That's my... that's, I think that's dope. <laughs> oh, man. You the last person that you asked me. What? Well, nigga, you ain't getting free nothing. For <laughs> <laughs> <The> years. <laughs> what happened yo, the rest of what's wrong with you, yo? So fuck it. Look at oh, this. Like, man. <laughs> Uh, what's up? <laughs> hey! Stupid, yo. Look. We lit. About Flip's contract. <laughs> yo. <laughs> I had somebody hit me about that. She's like, man. Nah, they hit they hit me. Fucking yo, page. Nah, I, I don't was care. Pod about pod, but I told this nigga today. Like, yo, dog. Damn, yo. Enough now. I know that's your shit. You got niggas stepping to me in the street. They little think pieces and shit. Leave me alone. I'm <laughs> what do I have to do with Flip? Con? Like, why y'all hit me? What do I have to do with you it? You got everything to do with that's it. That's not true. You put that it is together. True. I don't think that's true. The contract is between y'all. That's not true. Talk about it. Cool. Who's the contract between? Who is it between? Who's the other signature on the contract? The JBN that's, that's, as an entity. Yeah, that's broke shit for me to be me. <laughs> yeah. It's an LLC, it's S Corp, it's C Corp, it's Nonprofits Foundation. All them shit. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> that boy learned it. What you was in college? What you want me to Hold on. Do? All them shit's named what, though? Huh? All them shit's is named Joe Button. No, that's not true. That's no. not true. That I'm true. talking about that. That ain't true. You wrong in the motherfucker. That ain't true. I know what I'm talking about. They not all named Joe Button. I'm talking about what's on the he, contract. He, this, is my point Joe Button, this is my point to flip. This is why I say it's not me. I have a little a fun, friendly debate with him. And in closing soon, we ain't staying here. But that choice is solely on flip. Oh, yes. Like, I'm going to come to flip at some point and say, yo, this is what it is. I love you. I want you to stay. All the shit that they done told me throughout my <laughs> life. <laughs> when they get to lying, you know, we, you're really valuable. We love what you've done, but all that shit. And then you got to do what you got to do. That's all the on him. That's not me. He's crazy. Do you know why we hold it? This? <laughs> do you know? I got another beef to pick with you, too. I don't know if now's the time. You can pick it up. Pick it up now. Do you know why we hold it to our hearts? <laughs> we hold it to our hearts because you've been through it. Right? You've been through the experience with Spider. That's why I hold it to my heart. That's why I want you to call me. That's why. Not to, and, and, and it's not good business. Why do you want to mm-hmm. negotiate with Joe? It's not about negotiation, but I want to hear from my man. I want to hear from him. See, I think that's a mistake. See, I'm the, I'm the complete yeah. opposite. I'm the I don't want to talk to yeah, you. I don't want to talk, talk to I don't want to talk to you about I want to come in here and do what we do. I got no, people for I don't that. Want, I don't want to. I, listen. And, and, and I do. <laughs> Me too, by the way. Yeah. But, but when people say that, right, I hear them say it because what, what we talk about, like, your flip don't have a lawyer. You know, man. Well, that's not right if you're saying that. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm not going to say that part. But at the same time, it's like, come on. I know what I'm saying. I'm speaking from experience. It's not necessarily the... You see, everybody think I want to talk to them about the figure amount. No. It's more of a guidance thing. It's more of a converse. I know what I'm saying. It's just not conveying it right. And if I do, they will be able to... They'll try to, like, question my manhood and all shit like that. I know what I'm... He knows what I'm saying. He knows the type of call. It has nothing to do with, I'm going to pay you. It has nothing to do with that. It's about experience. You see how I'm acting. You've acted. Not exactly how I've acted. You went through this. It's... You know the road that I'm going down and you know why. I don't want to speak to nobody else about it. I'm going to speak to my man because the conversation, I'll be able to relate to him more. Has nothing to do with money. People think about some money shit. It's not the money. I don't want to speak to my money. Mm -hmm. It's just a whole different conversation from from a brother. Huh? No, he said it makes sense. I said it do, but it don't because at the same time, it's still the contract. I get what you're saying. Yeah, but I'm just... And it's not with me. The the contract is just... The contract is just... Let's be honest. The contract is just a shield. 
Because if I, as a man, if I say what I want to speak about, it sounds wimpy to me. No, sometimes it's just not black and white issues. It's, it's, exactly, it's, it's, it's so it's much areas it's of so, gray. It's, it's, and so, if you if you coming from just two attorneys, mm -hmm. everything is black and white. Mm -hmm. Some of this shit is nuance. Some of this shit be yo dog. I'm I'm dealing like this because of this, or I feel like that because of this, or I want to maneuver like that because of this. And you give me with advice. the two attorneys, you can't necessarily convey those. Let two me things. say this to you, Ish, and Joe, that's from both perspectives. Let, that's not just from let me let me the, say this the, to you, the Ish, boss. That's from boss and worker. Yo, I was mad, right? You that's probably, bad, I, I was mad. My mom was huh? this that way. Makes sense, right? I was mad. But Joe ain't that came. Why you would want? Hold on, let me, let me just say this real no. quick. No, because the attorneys. Hold on, let me say. I'm gonna I'm gonna give an example real quick. I, I came in here mad and acting like that and all that. Joe has some ill shit, some real shit to me right there. Some shit that I could relate to. Nigga, it's a come up. Nigga, he said some shit where that's my man. Okay, I get what you're saying. Look at me in the eye the way he told me. Like, nigga, you just got to respect. The way he put it to me brought my temper and how I felt all the way down. I said, okay, I'm, I'll resign. That's how I felt at that moment. Mm -hmm. Then when anything else, I'm speaking. I'm not, nah, because nah, I'm not going to speak to nobody else. Yeah, you say only I could have said this to him. You know what it's like. This is a perfect example. When I was trying to get out of my on top contract with Web and them niggas, <laughs> and my lawyer started telling me about all the shit that was in this contract, and I was hurt because those were my niggas. I know you. I heard about it. And I called Web like, nigga, do you know that this shit say? Bah, 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 bah. I gave him all my points. This is this crazy. And he said, nigga, Joe, I got to come up off you. <laughs> and it hurt to hear his perspective on, nigga, I spent, I went in, that's what's there, I have to eat too. That bothered me and it hurt. But with the emotions out of it, okay, everybody has a point at the lawyer table, I guess, that you just got to acknowledge. Yeah, that's so and that's what it was like. From, like I from, understand. From the, fl yeah. from the flip in Joe's perspective, it's, it's just like basketball. Not give well, Doc Rivers. Doc Rivers gets respected because Doc Rivers was once a player. Mm -hmm. Doc Rivers can, has a relatability with the player more than Spolstra might because Spolstra never played. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? So Doc Rivers might could tell Rajon Rondo something and it sticks because I played point guard at a high level just like you. Mm -hmm. Spolster can't say that to Ray John Rondo because it might go in one ear and out the other. Being that you are an artist, being that you do have a company, Flip is an artist. Flip has a company, content creators, artists, whatever y'all want to yeah. call it. Joe Mike could tell something flip to Flip that Ian, Keeb, the attorney, somebody might say the same exact shit, but it's not going to hit and it's not going to resonate. And, you know maybe, and, 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 and that's a good point. We're going we to move on in closing because yeah. people do look at it and I watch and I listen and they say, Flip don't have his business right because he's looking to speak to Joe. But that's not, I just, I just shielded with that. Me, my ego was too high to say what I really want to hear from him. It's too high. I'm not going to say it. I'm going to say it now. You could, you could decipher it however you want, but it's not the money part. People get there, yo, you want to talk. No, it's my man. I take whatever bullets attack because I can stand on my own two feet. But it's just like, like I said, he said something to me right there. Like, nigga, he's just the realest shit. Remind me of what Webb and them said one time. It's like, all right, you're right. My whole mood was calm. Came down, sit down. I'm coming to work. No more I'm rushing out because now I get it. I respect it. That's what I want to hear. I don't want to hear speaking to somebody and they're trying to, and I'm not saying that this happened. Mm -hmm. I don't want to speak to anybody and I feel like they're, they're trying to, like, I can't relate to them. Mm -hmm. It's not a relatable contract. Mm -hmm. Now I feel like it's a, like, because now I'm going to say on the phone, like. You feel like you're trying to play you all Yeah, I'm going to say on the phone, like, well, well. Nothing gets past my man, so I'd rather speak to him See, uh, about the stick. That's that, that, I get back into it. Yeah, you did. I don't be in it. Well, I'm calling my man. Wait, said, hey, you be trying CVS. Like, that's yeah. what he be doing. <laughs> <laughs> I, I do be doing that. And, you're, and, you're, and, you're, and, you're, and it's kind of. Oh. But then you, you know feel what I bad. think it is, honestly. Yeah. You think? Do you think? Do you no, think? I, just, it's like I think it's. I think it's because. Do you think I'm spoiled? Because people think I'm spoiled. Not like, even just that. I just think it's because you haven't worked corporate or nothing. You haven't dealt with Maybe. business on that side. Like, sure. but this is not corporate. No, but but I have I, though. But, I, but, but, I'm, but, I'm but not with working my people. That way. Like for example, I, I'm not a. I can't talk corporate. I know, but which is wild. Yeah, I use myself for example. Yeah, it's... my contract negotiation. I didn't talk to Joe about a thing. I got you. I had my manager and lawyer I talk to his people. Thing. I don't even know what it's just. I don't need. Yeah, we didn't. I did not speak to him. I came to work. Yeah. That had nothing. To, that's over here. Y'all take care of that. When yeah. I get the call from them saying, "Yo, we agreed on terms. This is what we like. I know what you wanted. We got it. Boom, 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 boom. You can sign." I was cool, and it didn't bring yeah. us to no my, point because I didn't have to. Some talk. people I have. I think. Let me just add to that. Yeah. 
I think that's how it should be, right? Yes, I agree. And my jadedness looks at the way you do it in a jaded manner, right? Got it. Like I've had people in the past, not the old co-hosts, like y'all like to put everything on when I say that. <clears throat> I've had people in the past call me as that role that you talking about, the friend, let's kick it with the nuance that you talking about. Mm -hmm. And then take my every word back to their attorney to mm -hmm. strategize mm -hmm. to now come back to me and now I'm battling myself. Mm -hmm. that, and that's kind of what I was saying. I got it. Okay, like, I see. The contract is with him. I, I know the I company, got you. I got you saying. I can't advise you. It's a on conflict a, of interest. Yeah, but a, that, but I keep saying, and I'm going to repeat this. The no, conflict. I'm not only dodo that when niggas come to me as niggas on, I talk like a nigga. The it's contract. Me, but I'll is tell just, you what I think as a dude, like as somebody that cares about you. But even that, from my position, can be taken. Absolutely, yo, bro. The contract away. to me, like I said, I'm going to say, I'm and I'm part. done. The contract, and I want the people to understand, the contract is just a shield. It's just something that, it's just whatever that word is, father, whatever. It's just pardon. Like, the contract is a shield. He knows. He knows what I'm saying. It has nothing to do with contract or monetary. Because I know if anything I really needed, I could speak to him. I just want to hear from my man. Yo, look. Nigga, this is what it is. This is why I'm doing it, nigga. You got to, oh, okay. What? That's what you're doing, nigga? I, yeah, I respect it. Speaking of contracts, yo, I know that. Like, some of it is theatrics for us. Yeah, yeah. Like, it is. When we talk about it on here, but they a take lot of that times we've talked me. about it already, right? And some of it is like reality show type shit in the moment, yada, yada, They said yada. that you're stealing from other, no, the other company. They said that while we, while, they said that us doing this, we're stealing from um, No Jumper. That's what they said. They said we're stealing, they... I said don't that. watch enough of that to even. I know. I, 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 I said they did. I've never seen. Yeah, they said that. No, they said that. They said <laughs> that. that um, no I, I, well, I don't know if they did it, but I just heard. I don't watch them enough to know. Said that we're stealing. And how could we have been stealing that when none of them had contracts? I don't know. That's what I heard. That we're stealing their style one. of parting by talk, discussing. I don't know, but I want to get okay, off. Got, it, got it. I, for me and my business, for yeah. me, me, individually, yeah. not this. I have a very simplified view of how the contract should go. Like, Ian is aware of what I think my bottom line should be always at the end of the contract. Got it. So, I'm going to take whatever the fuck we doing, I'm going to put my head down and get to the work for the duration of this. Hopefully, I negotiated a shorter term. Mm -hmm. And at around six to seven months into this, I want to come back and have the ability to bang you over the head. That's it. Once the two sides agree on like the main shit that the contracts fall out about, now it's me coaching my lawyer along to get it done, da, 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 and you doing the same to yours True. over there. Yeah. But the most important part for me is to come back. I want to be able to have the ability at the end of the term yeah, you said that. to bang you over the head. Because if I can't do that, then I have to reassess me and the growth of what I'm doing, right? Mm -hmm. Like if I come back at the end of every term and it's, you got an extra $5 for me, then I need to consider how I'm divulging my time, how I'm spending my time. I understand. Mm -hmm. Like, if y'all not growing, I can't grow. <laughs> and that's where my beef gets with you, with views. Because when you say the word view, you already have depleted the number down to the smallest fraction for those of us that entertain. Because mm. that's what a view is. So a view is like the, the bare minimum. A view is not even half of a penny. But it's a gauge, no? It's the wrong gauge, though. That you should Can't explain. Because, and and he, he's popular, so that shit kind of, I'm seeing shit go around, the views, the views, the views, the views. Well, yeah, the views, but how they break down the Monetize view them. when he come to bang me in the head to say, yo, the views went up. It's like, well, yeah, but that ain't, we got to get the bang from somewhere else. I got to be able to, meet your standard from something that's not a view. Because I, I have it. to go try to find full value for all of this. I, I hear and you. it ain't off views. The view. Got it. Like it would be off the sub. Those little key words like rep manager, view versus sub, Got it. foundation it versus nonprofit, all of that shit means something. The sub is... 90% or 100% or whatever. Let's say it's the bulk. Come on, subscribers. Subscribe. The view mm. is less than 1%. Mm. Got it. That makes sense. 
So that was my beef. That was me and Chloe. I always say, but when I talk about you, I'm talking about, I be talking about me. I be talking about me. Yeah, but it's that. But that's wrong. I, I, that's I wrong. But here's here's why why I say views, and I understand what you're saying. I say views because the labels and the companies that reach out to you, that's what they use as a, what's the word I'm looking for? Metric. A metric to give you whatever you want or whatever you need. I'm just saying, not not you. So okay. when I talk about views, okay. not you. Because yeah, I've designed I my shit in a way where I will not allow people to speak to me like that. Yes, and and I and and we realize that. Me, I'm, I'm talk, I know what the companies. You know what the companies want. I know what they say. Okay, what's your view? What, what are you doing? Oh, I can show you this. All right, well, we give you this. Your your, your company is ran different. You're different. However, you run it is not how. Well, yeah, because this is a niche thing, right? Okay. And it's ours. Well, mine, but you know what I'm saying. It's, Got it's, it. So the price is whatever the price is going to be. The price is you can't put a CPM. You can't tell me about a CPM. True. You can't tell me what is going on in oh, the market because right? I'm not obliging to those rules Metrics. out there. I I'm it. doing my own shit, paying my own shit. I'm, I'm doing it. So when you come over here for six months or the year, this is the number. I wouldn't give a fuck if this shit do 100,000 views. <laughs> it's at a premium because of the people that's sitting here. They always gonna, you don't see none of these niggas with sexy ass. It's all bevel, beard shave, ball sack. It's all, <laughs> they ain't nothing. It ain't and a new Escalade coming. It ain't nothing that's cachet mm -hmm. out here. I wanna talk to them. I see what you're saying. It's just a cachet thing because I know that when you're talking to them, I know it's the CPM breakdown. Yes, cheapy, yes, cheapy that's true. somebody. No, mm. I don't think you should talk to me or none of my crew like that. True. That's how I operate. Got it. Off on a tangent. I'm done. No, you're right. You're I'm problem, yeah. When I say views, I'm just talking about myself. Though. I'm not talking about Fuck the views. views. Talk to me about I, the subs. I'm, I'm, talking about, I'm talking about myself. Talk to me about the subs. Yo, step, you, step to me every few months. Yo, I had them subs looking. Got a 20, I know. Do got that. A 20 minute education real quick. You want to give me a 20 minute education? I said, you just got one. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. It's my man. No, I get it. No, but I, I know what he's saying. I don't. So, Kobe Pod. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I got you. What we got? Yeah, man. What we got? What we got? What we got? I see the word simp. Who wrote that? I did. Mel, what is the fool? Oh, man. Uh-oh. No. Big I, who's a simp? Big, I, actually, uh, I actually wanted to ask you guys, because the word gets thrown around a lot. It does. And I it's wanted... It's culture. Go ahead. Yeah. I was so I, had, I have several too. questions about the word. Okay. Um, first, one of my questions was, what word was you... I don't want to interrupt. Hmm? Can't get on your phone after Oh, no. he's probably Googling the word. I'm Googling simp. Yeah, I'm saying, y'all yeah. Googling simp? Yeah, I want well, the real definition. I think definition that's fair maybe. because I think that it gets used. Oh, it's it, 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 it gets, it gets yes, used. Yes, nigga. Now, hold on. I think it gets used so much that different people apply it for different reasons. To a large that, swath. I don't think that's fair that they get to look it up if that's what you guys, I'm doing. Uh, you guys shouldn't look it up. No, yeah. I'm looking because, it up so I could. Because, no, I wanted your own personal, before you saw a definition, What don't play anything. I wanted your own personal definition yeah, as to here. why, as to how you would apply the word. This is my definition. So, Parks, what would be your definition of the word? Sam. Um, freak ass boys. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, not, it's like the opposite of freak ass boys, I think. A simp is someone that um, will say anything to get attention from women or make them look good to women or specifically a woman, I think, more so than women in general. A simp say is or a, do anything. A person who or does. Or do, yeah, say yeah, or do. But yeah, it, a simp is a person who does way too much for the person they like. Just I'm way too you. much. Way too much that's, for the person that they like. That they, okay. You say women in general. You say women in general. No, I said specifically more more commonly simp, a, a single woman, but it can be women in general. Someone can just be an overall. You have a pattern of being a simp. But yeah, the actual dictionary version is a silly or foolish person. Okay. So we just took that definition and turned it to something else. Yeah. I didn't know that this was a real world. I didn't world. know it was a real world either. Me neither. Yeah. I thought they just made I that I think shit. it's like derived from the word simpleton. I, I don't know, Maybe. but I could be. Or oh, that might be the root of simple. I, now, I do know that most of... A large swath of the internet culture, swath. the incels specific, uh, specifically, yes. use it as anyone who isn't um, mean to women. <laughs> like, is a simple. Yeah. If, yes. you, if, you, nice. if you consider women, you think about, like, oh, how a woman might feel about anything that opposite of he man, woman hater, you're a simple. The incel community. And that's incel shit, right? I just learned what that word meant when y'all use it. Mm -hmm. But the incel community, respectfully, you guys can't speak on this. Y'all don't get women. 
Y'all not them dudes when it come to women. It's because of chads. The chads take all the women. This is like when the 18-year-olds <laughs> say fucking such and such is the goat. Like, the goat of what? Like, you're 18 years on the fucking planet? Like, <laughs> you incel niggas can't speak to us about... When we get stuck talking about simp, simp, extra lover boy ass nigga, mud ass nigga, or throwing these words around, it's because a group of men that have experience with women... Different women, walks of life, come from different places, talk different, dress different. You got to, you know what I mean? You got to do it. Are looking at another group of men and how they go about this, and we're judging them. We're not calling a simp. You niggas that don't get none of them, nobody's looking at you as a simp-ass nigga. Like, you got to graduate to even simp level. Y'all not there if you're at incel. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, I'm I, rolling facts. I really <laughs> I'm rolling. That. Yeah, facts. Because simp is bad, but it's levels. Like yeah, it shouldn't yeah. be. It ain't bad to y'all. Y'all are like the bottom, <laughs> the lowest. Yeah, mm -hmm. what's lower than incel? Mm, nothing. Not even virgin. No. <laughs> yeah, no. <nah. laughs> nothing. Nothing. <laughs> That's bad. You new niggas. Look what y'all did. They Became embrace the worst that shit. They embrace that shit. Yeah, they too. happy about that shit. So simp, simp. Yeah, I always looked at it like that. Like. A walkover, a nigga that's uh, what's the word? Push malleable. Malleable. malleable, yeah. You're too malleable. That's a mal uh, uh, mal word. Mal word of the day. Yeah. Malleable. malleable, yeah. Okay, I just see it used a lot in what I think to be the wrong context, it and is. so I just wanted. <laughs> the internet uses majority of words I know. in the wrong context. I know they do, but like for simp, it's exactly how you said it. You know, it's usually men who or guys who. Um, don't have access to the type of women that they want to. So there's a little bit of frustration, to say the least. I think that there's a little bit more misogyny and hatred applied to it. Um, Wait, women can be simps? We don't call I think each other that. Pick -me's. That would be a we call one. yeah yep. pick me's. Yep. That would be the equivalent. Yeah, we, would, we, would, we would say that it's cool. pick me's. Yep. That's exactly what it is. Yeah, I would, that's that's the equivalent. Um, but yeah, I just I'll and that's you wrong. I'll get a mic for an hour, nigga. And, Stop and, and that's wrong. And that's who's <laughs> wrong a lot today too. It's the same thing. Any woman that's not just I hate men, mm -hmm. or if you say something that just you use your brain to come up with, like yo, this don't seem right. Oh, you're being a pick me. Mm -hmm. No, I'm just saying something here. Yeah. Same thing. Okay. You use wrong context across yeah. the board. Okay. I was just I was just so curious. you feel like a simp is a man that. You feel like people that call men simps are not able to get the women that the men, the simps are getting. Yeah, I think a lot of the time it is. I think that it's just like a mischaracterization to okay. say, to accuse somebody of pandering to women when that guy might actually just hold women in a high regard and if, have respect for them. What if oh, we wait, know? What that's if, what the fuck yeah. you been saying? Yeah. I missed all of that. What if we know, Mel? What mm -hmm. if we know that that's what the nigga is doing? What if we know, like, I know what you're doing, Bucko. You you doing that bullshit to get the pussy and you look corny doing it. What if what if what if that's why we call him a simp? Nigga, you just being a simp. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> niggas I haven't simp. even thought of that angle. And niggas put and, and niggas put their capes on when they don't have to. How the hell did you You could there? be dead wrong. You could be dead wrong. Like you be saying some mm -hmm. crazy shit, like yoke mm -hmm. shit and then taking it back. So if a nigga come up here and argue with us mm -hmm. out of nowhere, knowing that you're wrong, knowing that he watched that you said something else, I'm not saying. Mm -hmm. Nigga, you being a simp now. Nigga, take your cape over. and shut the fuck up. Because you know she, you trying to panda and make her feel trying good. Trying to look good and, to her. And, mm -hmm. and, and, and you're doing too much. That's a that, that's a, also a version of a simp that people call simp. I kind of feel like it's a really gray area. True. You True, know, man. between you. actually agreeing with, some, with something that somebody says who just happens to be a woman... And you, you being your, like, nah, nigga, you simping, you, you pandering, your, you blah, 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 blah. You your bag, man. You were your woman bag, sir. Well, I'm just, because I'm really curious, because a lot of the times I see there's just like this debate over whether or not what a woman's actually saying is factual or true or just makes sense to somebody and a whole bunch of dudes just like hey, start me, dogpiling on some dude who says, no, I agree with her. She's making sense, blah, 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 this, that, the other. Or they think about a woman favorably and like, nah, nigga, you just pandering, you simping and shit like that. I get it all just, the time. I see niggas. Huh? I, I get it all the time. I see, but no, you, it, it just doesn't bother you. I don't think. I, I seen men jump out the women window for a woman that is totally wrong. Like we could be having a conversation and we all know she's wrong. 
Mm-hmm. And the nigga be like, nah, man, but trying to make us, man, shut your simp ass up. <laughs> and he would defend and go on the ledge. I know niggas. I seen niggas do this. Mm-hmm. That's simpery that. at its finest. Yeah, what, what's a pick me? What's a pick me? A woman simp. Female simp. What does that mean? Like, do you want a pick me, pick me, pick me? Like that? Like, women, pay attention that, to me? women that go out their way to say shit that malleable men would agree or to yeah that that looks like they're on the side of men. oh but then then there'll be a double standard because i can say like how we know that she doesn't really feel that way so i okay uh, yeah mm-hmm. usually yeah. usually it's you tricky. see you Got see it. a woman being accused of being a pick me in comment That's... section when i don't know it's some dude on a podcast talking about male female dynamics and whatever the case is and it's just like and then a woman chimes in in the comments and she says no, I agree with what he's saying. You know, like we women, it, it's a it's it's a criticism towards women and behavior within relationships. And women, some women will pipe up and be like, "Nah, he's he's a he's hundred percent right. We women could do better in this 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 this." Then there will be a bunch of women in the comments that will be calling her a pick me. Got it. Regardless of. If she's right or wrong. If she's right mm-hmm. or wrong. Respect. Some women just will just automatically, just automatically, it's just like. agree. You're, yeah. You're yo, yo, your mind, are you good, bro? Because you, you, you don't agree with it. You don't, you I, right? I, I think we so divided. Yo, you sure, bro? That you got something to say? It, it's All instances right. where women are a thousand percent right. Mm-hmm. It's instances where women are a thousand percent wrong. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You don't have to be agreeable all the time for every single issue. True. You know what I'm saying? It's like, that's where we are in the world. Like, mm-hmm. yo, p- politics. Mm-hmm. Niggas, what, if the de- Democrats feel like nothing that the Republicans do could be right and mm-hmm. vice versa. Like, that shit is nuts to me. So if I sit here and have an argument with Mel about a topic, it's not because she a woman. Mel might be right. I've agreed with Mel. Y'all used to crack on me for, oh, I know, yeah, yeah, we know nigga Mel right. Like, and then I can sit here and have an argument with Ice. Okay, Why can't... Days. Why can't I stand? <laughs> Yo, you stupid one, nigga. <laughs> Why can't I stand on a side dependent upon what the topic is? I might agree with Ice mm-hmm. on certain topics. I might not agree with Ice on other topics. Mm-hmm. It's not based on him being a dude. You get what I'm saying? So, like, it, believe, so if I disagree with Mel, it ain't because Mel is a woman. It's just because I think Mel's saying some incorrect shit. Do, that don't do, mean, you, do you believe in the word simp-ish? Do you believe that there's simp Yeah, see, there? my definition for simp is different. How'd it go in the 80s? Can you tell us yours? <laughs> my definition... <laughs> What's your definition? Some bitch ass nigga. <laughs> 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 um, no, my definition for simp is like, yo, you, 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 you a pushover. You know that this individual may be wrong, and you just still rocking for the sake of Facts. getting something out of it. Like, getting some pussy. Yeah, you, 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 you doing some sucker shit. You know what I'm saying? That's that's my definition. That's what I took it to be. Mm. In in the urban slang esque. Hey, you know what's so crazy, man? Yeah. Situation. When no disrespect to to you or anyone else, women. I'm just saying I've seen incident in, in, incidents instances. instances. Yes, of um, every, we all would disagree with the woman, and a guy would jump out the window and agree, stand on that ledge, and he would get something out of it later on. It's a mind thing too. So you're saying it works being a yeah. Sometimes, sometimes. <laughs> I seen it get pussy off that. I seen it. Thanks. True, yeah. it does work. I, it's, I it's efficient. Yeah. <laughs> Seen it get put because it's like it's like such a it's so crazy. It's like the Matrix, nigga. You watch this shit, like nigga. What are you doing? Bro, a nigga will tell on another nigga to get some box. It works. That happens a lot. Yeah, man. But I, think, I, think yeah, man. I think that's corny. I hate that shit though. Yeah, man. He bring that shit up every time I see mm-hmm. him too. Yeah, like every time. For real? At what? Oh my god, there are Still so many dry day? snitching, mm-hmm. pillow talking ass mofos. But out why there. do women like crazy? Do- oh <laughs> shit, sorry. <laughs> okay. okay. At today, today, age, today, today. I'm lying. He's no, he's not he's lying. Like members and yes, mentions. yes, today. yes. Mm-hmm. Your wing never been right since. <laughs> yup. <laughs> he says that. He never says that to me. Why would he? What are you going to say, audience, yo, I, yo, I apologize audience, for ratting on you. Quick cliff note, <laughs> quick cliff note story I've told before. Uh, when 20 I, years when ago. I was more than that, nigga. We 40, oh, I'm 42 right. years yeah, well, old. Right. 43. 40. Sorry. You like to remind us of our age all, all the, the time. goddamn time. 46, so. nigga. Fuck out of here. You're 46. No, you. 
No, I'm 43. But anyway, dollhouse. When niggas was running around the dollhouse, niggas was 17, 18, 19. You said the dollhouse. But anyway, I was going to the dollhouse. I had a girlfriend. My girlfriend was my best friend at the time. She had a problem with me running to the strip club to the dollhouse. The nigga we talking about DJed at the spot and was my man. But I had a little thing in there named Dam with the fattest ass. Well, her name was Dam. So I was going in there on Wednesdays. I, know, huh? I don't think you know this Dam. A lot, a lot came after. There Sorry. was some dams that came after. Oh, my fault, my fault. This dam. The original Jer- dam. The Jersey niggas. Come on, man. Y'all, y'all know what time it is. She was the Hoover dam. <laughs> all niggas. God. God damn. damn. <laughs> she wanted them that you go back and try to find 20 years later. Like, I wonder what happened to dam. But anyway, so I was going in there seeing dam. Dollhouse, they was giving the wall dances $20, $15 for the wall dances. As a 17, 18 year old, my dick never been that hard in my life. <laughs> so, of course, our man goes to tell my girl at the time that I'm fucking this girl this is, that's a stripper and he be in here every Wednesday oh, with this God. girl he fucking. So don't you know I'm in there getting my dance on the wall from Dan and my girl slash best friend stroll up in there looking doofy in the face while Dan is on me looking like Dan. Damn. <laughs> so I was like, what you doing here? I'm like, like look, <laughs> Dan. Look, damn. Duh. She stormed out of there. We broke up. He and popped. Then, then I let, yeah, then she, then right uh, after she started fucking with him. <gasps> They was in a relationship. Oh, nah. He popped. Yeah, it was craziness. And that was that. Oh, I wouldn't have got right with him either. That was nasty. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That was nasty. That's crazy. Do women like that? I'm shocked work? that niggas, but carry that. that, that Wait, why does he years, carry it? That be guilt. You feel exactly. Guilty, nigga. Oh, guilt. What you say? Oh, okay. All these years later. Oh, yes. you should apologize. Well, I don't think that. <laughs> Did he ever apologize? I'm, I'm, I'm with you. See, I, I, the, all these years later, it's not, you're not bringing up yes, out of it guilt. Is. It's a stat. No, it's not. It's, it's a stat. What's a stat? That's a stat. No, it's not. Did it's he ever apologize to you, Joe? Yo, y'all know that that nigga I took that nigga bitch when we were nah, 17. Nah, 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 nah. He don't nah, be nah, saying nah, it in that nah, man nah, at all. He don't be saying it like nah, that. Nah, what does he nah, say nah, it nah, like? He be like, yo, man, you know, it's my man. I love the nigga. You know what I'm saying? He the be nigga, saying it with regret. Yeah, like the nigga ain't never been, we ain't never been we the same. Never been right so you regret that it once you stop fucking the girl. But you wanted that pussy. You wanted that pussy at the time. That's, bad. That's was bad, bad enough I was gonna to that do that. Too. He wanted just uh, his girl. <laughs> Wait, I hear what you say. I ain't say nothing. I heard you. I heard him. That's crazy. But yeah, that is nuts. <laughs> that is fine. Especially after our hookah talk, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, crazy. shit. I didn't even know you, y'all. But it's cool. Oh, yeah, you didn't know me back then. It's all right. I feel like I've known you for life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get the fuck out of here. You wasn't in my sandbox. That's, that's, that's interesting, though. So you don't fuck with the nigga at all no more? Nah, Joe, you fuck with him. You fuck with him. <laughs> fuck with him. I do. That's the thing. Like, That's the why this is weird feels, to me. Because the nigga feels awkward. We've yeah. never had that, that talk. Yeah. I stopped talking That's to why. the girl long ago. So he never apologized. They, maybe he did. I don't want to say he didn't. Oh, okay. But like, I didn't retain it. Yo, about that. Like, who, nigga, who cares? He did. Yeah. It's he still, 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 still felt guilty. Still, I'm telling you. Well, he shouldn't have did that. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. And he knows that too, probably. That's foul. And 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 you could tell just why they keep bringing up the nigga want to approach you with the yeah, conversation. Yeah, it's an awkwardness. And he yeah. probably be get, he just he don't probably know be trying to send a kite through us. That's yeah. nasty. That's nasty. I think you do it once, you do it again. No, not necessarily. Nah, nah, not necessarily. necessarily. If he was especially 18, 19 years old, especially when you're talking that long, not just that. If, if, not just that you I've learn from some mistakes, bro. I've never seen a retired dirty macker. No, it's, you, you, no, I've I never think seen it. I'm, I'm just I'm not saying retire. it don't exist. Uh, I've seen a retired everything put, else. He put his dusty jersey up in the stairs. Yeah. <laughs> I've never heard of that before. Man, I want to ask you a question yeah. as because as, you you know can I ask you a question? Mm-hmm. Do women like that though? What? Like, why do women don't think that's corny that a nigga will come and talk about another? Sorry for spitting. Talk about another nigga. To them, why y'all don't think that's corny? Like, that's lame. I know some like the younger women, some young women, and the ones that get to it. I know some that like, don't roll with that. Yeah, shit. I know a lot. A lot oh, of no, women no, no, do no, no. That. We don't. They'll come right back and tell you. Look, he just said that for instance, the woman, he, the nigga that did that dirty magazine. Oh, got she the pussy. sounds like she was out for revenge as well. See, you made an excuse. Okay. No, I'm not oh, making okay. an excuse. I'm just, I, I'm not in this situation. No, no, respect, I respect. I, I, I got a dog I in the race. Some of that, I think that it was a And, the nigga, and the nigga know I, that. One, the niggas be, that's that what they want. Revenge. They want her to want yeah. revenge. Two, I think that had it not been for me, he's somebody that she would have popped and Regardless. Vice yeah. versa. And I think he, he knew that. He was a yeah, show off yeah, nigga. But to him, this might have made it easier because now she mad. Well, he made her mad. So that's what I'm saying. I think he knew that. 
Got me out the way, and then it Hick was. Here my shoulder for you to lean on. Yeah. Exactly. Yep. Yep. And well, there's there, there, there a lot of women that look at that. A lot of don't fuck with that no, shit. No, I know. There's a lot of women that look at that shit with disgust. Like, I do. Yeah, I know. But I, they come I've right been, to you and tell and you, they too. Will tell but you. I've been hearing, I don't know if it's an old old school thing, but I've been hearing some He's an old school women. right here. No, I've been hearing some. I've been hearing some women be okay with that. They take it that. Depends inf- on a woman. They take that information and utilize it, it and uses it, and they're not a nigga. Fuck like some. I don't like that. I know some girls that don't like yeah. that. I nigga, I don't like that. Like you corny, and I'm telling that nigga what you said. No, Plenty of niggas out there have gotten some fine ass because she was mad at me. <laughs> Fact. Plenty of y'all have come up. When I took the argument a little too, I, I shouldn't have said, all right, that was over the line. <laughs> now I'm in her line. <laughs> you can't even mad at that point. Oh, man. Oh, what? <laughs> I no. said some foul shit in the argument I shouldn't have said. He says, how and foul do you get, Joe? Right you ever got, net, you ever got foul? Like, I'm saying, you ever got... I've had all of the arguments. I've had all that of the arguments. That nigga said some ignorant shit to you. Word. <laughs> What you you have you should have some idea of. Listen, no. <laughs> what he said to me again? Look, y'all y'all ain't never hump. Y'all ain't share a house. Y'all ain't share a bill. Y'all ain't share no intimacy. So imagine what she do some bullshit with. This what he said to me? Remind me what he said to me. I'm good. I don't, I don't <laughs> know what you do. I want to see. How, I want to see how ignorant it was. I don't do what you do. So, tell you off, Mike. I think everybody here says shit in an argument. We that, do, that we do. Oh, hell yeah. Shouldn't have said. I don't but as, that's a but as thing. you get older, really. you as more you get older, no, you more mindful. Extra, uh, I'm more mindful now. Not really, you never did that. Not really. I, I told y'all, like, I always go out of my way to try to control myself in arguments. Oh, yeah. I shut up. You're I same. try to. <laughs> now, <laughs> now I do. Sim, I mean, now I shut up because I don't want to say no shit that I might like. Because I hold you to that. I don't care just because you was upset in the moment. Yeah, that's, yeah you said that. I'm very big on that, so I treat yeah. myself the same way. And I know where I might take it, I'll shut the fuck up. But do you think as men, we say shit crazy to see how far we can go? Because no, I know, I mean, like, I don't. At, at some point, no. when I, you know, a couple, a, of years, a, 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 couple of, a couple of years ago, I know it's foul what I'm about to say. It, it, I hear the foul thing in my head. It comes here. Pause. I feel the foul thing. That's foul, and I'm gonna say it anyway. Do no one is foul. I'm talking about when I'm not as a grown man. Not now. No, you still do that. Yeah, you. No, do. no, 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 no. Yes, you do. Not to women. Oh, maybe not to women. Not to women. To y'all niggas. I think. I think that men. I think. I think it's a control. I think. Th- I think that as well. But I think as men, I think you guys take it different. Like I want to talk about a nigga kid. I want to talk about a nigga mother. I want to talk about a nigga girl. Right, I want to tell a nigga suck my dick, but I would say some things to put like you, you, you being funny. I would say some shit like that to see how far I can push it. Yes, that's part of my character, mm. but I, I don't jump off the cliff. Like I know if I get mad at the nigga, I'm not saying yo nigga suck my dick for real, because I know that to me, if he said that to me seriously, I'm going to be upset. You cross the line. You cross the line, then you don't really fuck with me like that. And I mean, we joke like that around. I'm just talking about in a serious moment. But in a relationship, right? In a relationship, it's easy when it's man to man. It's like my dick. Like you kind of know the boundaries. In a relationship, yeah. you could just be saying something that that you thought was logical or you felt in the moment, and how this girl or woman is receiving this. Oh, I can never look at you the same. Now you're mixing it up, Joe. <laughs> we know just... what's foul or what's not. You're mixing it up now. We know when we about to say some foul shit. No, foul, not just that. Foul. Yo, and, and, yo, yo what you say. Like, like I, I, I used to be the king of eh, if you leave and leave the fuck out. Okay, it's not. I'm my bag for a minute in yeah. the fight. Oh, you mad about something? Bounce. And in that, it means I don't give a fuck about this mm-hmm. relationship. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's, yes, yes. It's, it means I don't foul. care if you leave. Even if I'm not trying to be foul, and this is really just my horrible uh, troubleshooting of the situation, it's fat. It it lands harder than you throw it. Mm-hmm. Mm. That's what I had to learn mm-hmm. in, in yeah. arguments. I agree. Sometimes things that you could say are going to land and impact her. You might fuck the next two years of life up for her, contingent on what you say in that moment. Do you think that because we I think... Mean, sister, you did what? I can never look at you the same. <sighs> Wait, I didn't mean that. Hold on now. You ever say to the woman that really, really, really love you like... And you wasn't maybe feeling the time that you can never look at her the same? She carried that shit, but... <laughs> She carrying that. Like, it's things that are just impactful. And then I've been on the other side of that, too, where she now views you different, and you're going to have to pick it up from the context clues in the house. 
<laughs> this could get real tricky fast. Mm. Everybody quiet. It's, it's cool. I'm <laughs> just wrong. Oh, Mute it up. Shit ain't you brought wild. some it's bad memories. <laughs> you right. I, told you. I try not to put myself in that. Like I always. <laughs> that's I, good. I, I try that's, to stay I, I, in self control. Yeah, I, don't, I don't do that no more. I used to be a monster, but mm -hmm. I don't do that no more. I'll be like, yo, you got I try not to even really argue Walk with people out. that I love. I, I really yeah, try not yeah, to argue. It's nasty. Guys or girls, like I don't try to argue with nobody like that no more. It's just, I think, I, I think it's kitty though. Like when I was a teenager, even when I got mad at my parents or. Like, you just say things that you, and, and, and when you get older, you can't just keep using that as an excuse. I was mad. Nah. Mm -hmm. Even the beginning stages of my marriage, I couldn't keep doing and saying the same thing. At some point, like, nah, nigga, like, you don't really care. If you keep doing it, you don't really care how, did, how the this apology affects people. biggest change behavior. Yeah. yeah. It takes a lot to, like, learn how to regulate your emotions. And we're not really taught to do that. You no, know what I'm saying? So it's not as it's, hard. It's usually hard. you're learning in real time how to regulate your emotions and not let them it, get like out yeah, of control to where personally, you. Personally, y'all was punching say shit, headbutting. I just ah, think of consequences. Up. Like, yeah. yo, yo and that's what anything I do in life. I always try to think, yo, what could happen in as a result of mm -hmm. this? If I go here, what could happen? If I say that, what could happen? If I do this. What could happen? But a lot of times the consideration of consequences comes from experiencing negative consequences due to your actions or your words. Don't even a have lot, to be me. A lot of times. Don't even have, but I've seen it due to other people's A lot words. of people. True, I've, true. I've seen it in other people. A lot, of people, people a lot of people do not learn by, by way of seeing other people's That they really just said out of anger or drunk or whatever the case mm -hmm. may be. And it changed their entire life. Mm -hmm. And they don't think they try to take it back. But you can't take it back. It's out now. It's there. I, Ice is an accountability black and white person, though. Mm -hmm. Like, Ice, for the most part, look at a lot of shit in black and white. Mm -hmm. So his decision process is, is simpler than most. Like, you know Call what I'm saying? Call me simple, like, nigga? Nah, I'm, 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 I'm simple. I'm, 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 I'm giving I'm, you I'm, pride. I'm, like, play, I'm, yo, I'm, I'm playing. Nah, his... Play. <laughs> <laughs> Both talking this. Nah, like, so I think that, um, I think, and, I, and Ice uh, has an ability to... to accountability is a strong suit for ice most people don't have accountability in their fucking vocabulary mm -hmm. so if they do some shit they immediately blame you for what they it's did it's one of his core values you get what i'm saying like yeah. yo if people be like oh i only did that because of you so you blaming me for you <laughs> if you say i only did that because of this nigga you just took the blame off yourself and put it on the other thing Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I think that a lot of times people don't really change their behavior because they could always go back to I did it because of you. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, was, I, I was never at fault. bitches because you ain't cooked. Yeah. You get it what I'm saying? It, was so never it, was, fault. it wasn't my fault that I fucked mm -hmm. them. It's because you ain't cooked. Had you, Had you did this, made the I chicken, wouldn't did I wouldn't have did that. I wanted to, you made me do it. You pushed me to that. One of the lines during the argument that, that I used to hate uh, would be when your wife or a woman tell you, you doing all that shit to me, nigga. But what about this nigga? What about that? Or you better go do that to that nigga. Or you better say that to this. But I, I ain't like that. That caused a lot of people to get punched in the face. Also, your wife seen you be pussy before. No, she never saw me be pussy. But I think that just was a line. Like my <laughs> wife has, my wife has seen me in situations where she was friends with a nigga, and when she was working at a fish house, and he was talking to her, like when I first got with her, and he was talking to her, like on some friendship shit, but crazy in front of me. Like you know when niggas to show off. Uh, and I put hands on them. A little too comfortable. I, I, I put hands on them and violate. She's seen me violate a lot of people before. But when she say that, when she said that to me before, it used to get me mad. Like, right, you, you think I'm just picking on women or you think I'm just arguing with you just cause. So then. Damn. You know, the two women that have said that to me by accident apologized and never said it again. Yeah. What? That. Yeah, I don't but like now that. Now we got to have the deeper conversation of why you've think that emasculating me is the route and however mm. you're feeling. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. you don't have to do that. And what am I doing that's making you think that's the best route for success for us? Well, that's not, see, it's, it's usually not you. You, see, you, you, have, a, you have a different view, I, not me. Oh, you said that? All right, cool, watch. Watch this. Who, who, which one of them? So which now you're just going to punch Chauncey for no, no reason. No, not no, not no reason, nigga. She would remind, who, which, what did you see? Chauncey might have said something to yeah, you slick no. seven years ago. That was you, when you I was younger, though. I was, I was in my early 20s. No, you took the I'm 36. That was in my early 20s when I was younger. No, I'm just asking yeah. how old you are. I, I just told you, I'm 20, I'm 36. You didn't 20 nothing. All right. Yeah. <laughs> you got about two more years tops at 
your disruptive shit in any area. Like at 38, you got to act like 40 coming. Like you got to be the mature beacon of shit. You think I'm still disruptive a little? Yes. No, Joe, come on. You even say you see the growth. You be, you be I do see the growth, but every day you say that your default setting is <laughs> to fuck some shit up. Yeah. Like, yeah, but, yeah. yeah. but here yeah. And that's the and that's and that's the manipulation that Grimlock I that's the mani- break. That's the manipulation that yeah. I that's the, hold on, bro. Factory up. settings. That's the manipulation I try to do. Why? Let me explain. It might it, it's like I think I'm psychotic. I feel like no matter what I tell you or how I, I call myself a narcissist, a manipulator, no matter what I say I am, my actions show you different. So would you label me that still based off because I'm telling you I am that or would you label me that or would you judge me based on my behavior? I say a whole bunch of things. Hey, yo, sure, I'm a manipulator. I'm, I will manipulate you. Da, 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 da. So I say that shit. David Blaine type of sorcery. Exactly. It is because I, I don't smoke or drink. I have no time. All I do is because... Human beings are confusing creatures. We want to be down with everything. I can tell Mel right now, y'all, I'm a narcissist, Mel, I'm a manipulator. Mel's whole encounters with me, I didn't do anything as a narcissist to her. I haven't manipulated her, and I've been like a brother, hold you down. If you need me, I'm there. So now if somebody come to Mel like, yo, I heard Flip say this, I feel like regardless of what I say, even if Mel heard it, Mel should say, no, that's not true. That's just him saying that to be an asshole. That is not true. Flip is this person. All right, now let me let me, Human, let me ask you a question. Go I'm ahead, just saying you can tell somebody I something. What you're saying? I get it's, what he's saying, but now we all we, we also just said that we never really know who people are. That could be her experience. That's true. You, you never that's really true. know. That's true. So I, now you could be true. being honest. Hey, dog, look, I'm really this. You ain't see it. That could just mean I ain't seen it yet. <laughs> so you take it like that? Okay, I, I didn't think no, about that's it. That's the like, like truth. I think you that's how that most people. Be, him being straight up honest, I could take that as, yo, Flip is being straight up honest and telling me, yo, I'm really a manipulator, I'm really a narcissist. So when that day comes and I see that, you prepared me. So you wouldn't take it as personal? I wouldn't take it as personal, period. For me, mm, I see. I'm a firm believer in the power of words. Words. Yeah. So the fact that you you're saying that. none of those things. Yeah. But you said the word. So now Your subconscious you are bound don't know that you attract, you're attracting You're attracting something mm-hmm. from, from these words, right? Like if I come in here and say, yo, I'm tough. I don't have to behave like that, but I'm summoning True. the of world of people yes. that to try you. Oh, I'm tough. Oh, well, let's see. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, well, let's see how tough you I'm are. I'm talking then. to the tough people. Yep. <laughs> Mm-hmm. I don't look at it. I like always that. start with I'm not tough if you hear me. <laughs> I don't want to talk to none of you niggas in the street. <laughs> that shit ain't fun. I get what you're saying. Yeah, so I don't, just so you believe you you guys believe in power and words. words. I do. Huh? Absolutely. I, 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 I do. You as don't? a rapper, how, how, yeah, how could I, you I not? Guess. I don't fuck a rapper like as a human being, yo, the stuff that you say, you throwing out into the universe. Got you. Respect. It's gonna come back. I got you. And not just that, your sub. This is some other shit, but your subconscious mind is receiving that. I got you. If you say, "Yo, I'm sick. I'm sick. I'm sick." Mm-hmm. Niggas is always you gonna always be sick. If you say, "Yo, I'm great. I could do this. I could do whatever the fuck I put my mind to it," you are gonna get it done. What about the people that say that and nothing happens for them? They don't really believe it. What about the people that are sick and say that? No, I'm not really sick, but still end up being sick. Life is life is very very tricky. Listen, sometimes people, life is tricky. True, true, true. I think that you could say shit. You don't really believe it. People are like, yo, I'm a bad bitch. And deep down inside, they got more insecurities than most. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? So you you are right that it could be, I think there's the, levels to it. I but, think the power of words isn't necessarily yeah. a be-all, end-all also. You yeah, can say, yeah, yeah, true, true, true. I feel great and I'm whatever, and then bam, yeah. drop dead and some shit shitty. the next day. It could happen. Some people like, talk yeah. to themselves, right? They could be have a bad day. They'll talk to themselves, it's try to coach it's themselves and trick themselves. And you should to, supposed to. And you're supposed to do that. You're supposed to do it. That's how you beat depression. Is that how you, well, that's not how you be depression. All of that. <laughs> trans, <laughs> translation. I believe in all of that. I respect it, Language is just mm-hmm. a spell. Yeah. They say, well, what about the people that don't believe it, Joe? Where does that leave them? Oh, that's, mm-hmm. that's for them to talk about with the non-believers. Yeah, true. Got it. Okay. Like, if you're not superstitious, then you're going to look at me weird when I pull you back around the pole. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hey, what the fuck are you doing? Yeah, yeah. Or stop, the you from, or stop you from or stop you from walking under the black a ladder. Yeah, you gonna look at me like yeah. I'm nothing. You just don't. You don't believe. That's not your thing. Or or I done went to jail every day. I cut a pole. Listen. <laughs> or if you if you are atheist and I don't you don't play that cutting that pole. Shit. I ain't I mean, got no pole. I'll back up. Yo, you are atheist. Oh. You don't believe in God. 
So when somebody praying, you looking at them like they crazy. Do you believe in the power of prayer? I, yeah, kind of. Oh, then that's no. That's no. Kind of. That's no. That's no. I did in the beginning, but now I have questions. That's, that's no. Okay. There's nothing so, wrong with that. I don't, I don't know if it's no. I don't know if it's. I think you can be skeptical yeah, about Yeah, I'm skeptical. The other day, or religion. I respect prayer and religion. Prayer and religion are two totally different things. Hold on. Hold on. How are we talking now? Let me say this. Let me just say this. skeptical and believe. What do you mean? You, it's, it's, how you can't be skeptical. Yes, you can. You can't be skeptical. I'm asking. You can you can believe in certain things. You can believe of the power of religion or prayer or power of words mm. up to a point. Yes, I believe. I personally feel that way. I believe in Wait, prayer. I'm asked, I'm I don't. I don't necessarily think that prayer all day every day is going to solve my problems. I don't mm -hmm. think that it's an issue, but it's something that I like to do from time to time when I feel like I need something else. I don't think that it is a hundred percent going to happen because I prayed for it, but. I think that it's something that I like to practice sometimes. I, 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 I'm, I, I'm a believer, but I'm not uh, all in on the poker chips believer. I think that makes you a fanatical uh, person, personal personal opinion. How y'all feel about what you said? I agree with what you said. I agree with I, 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 I couldn't disagree with you. Do you want to know why? I yes. watch, because I watch, just as an example, I watch like a lot of like, you know, Dateline and murder, death, kill shit and stuff like that. And every time somebody has gone missing, you know, their family, they're calling for people to pray. They mm -hmm. are praying with every ounce of their entire being. They're praying with every ounce of their belief system. They are pr praying. And whatever the outcome is that their loved one is found and they are not alive anymore. So what makes those, pers those people's prayers any less valuable or any less full of belief than somebody else who prays to, I don't know, win the lottery and it ends up happening. You know what I'm saying? Like, it just seems like life can be very arbitrary. You know mm. what I mean? Life just kind of happens ra regard see. regardless of whether we want it to go in the direction of our prayers or it doesn't. And that has nothing to do with God not answering your prayers. That's just life. I don't All know right, how so that oh, pertains oh, to what he said. Me either. Why? Because because Parks, I get what, I, I get what, I get what okay. both of them are saying. I just think they're saying different things. Yeah. I think that Parks is saying, "Yo, I pray, but I don't really have a hundred percent faith in what I'm praying about." I don't think that that. I think I, that's what I didn't hear. I didn't, that's what I, I, didn't, he hear, said, I didn't hear him. I, didn't I heard hear him. him say that. Yeah, he, he said, said I practice. I, pr I pray yeah. from time to time when I need something. Yeah, and no, he said whoa, when I need. No, I said when I feel the need to. Yeah, that's not when I need something. Okay, but from time to time when yeah. I feel the need to. But I feel like. But I don't really have a belief that is. And so working. when he finished talking. I was left with the same thing. Well, then you don't. You don't believe that. I was, a, I was, I was attributing. Yeah. I was attributing what you guys think is his level of skepticism to the fact that life just happens regardless of your your um, your firm belief in the power of prayer. That has is nothing to do with of, the belief. So let me tell you, the power of life prayer, does and this comes from conversations like y'all already know how my mom's is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We get that a little mixed up. You're not when in that instance where the loved one is missing or something. Mm -hmm. You're praying that your higher power, or whatever, helps you get through it. That's where the prayer really comes in. It's not necessarily. I mean, you're gonna pray that they be found, but you're not. You might not get that. You might not get the resolution of their found safe and sound, but you'll get a resolve. Hey, they found the body. They found mm -hmm. something. Help us, whatever divine being, whatever your will is, it's gonna be done. This is how they've explained this to me. We ain't in control. Uh, yes, I know. The higher power is mm -hmm. in control. It's their will. So we could say we want whatever. It ain't, it ain't up to us. Mm -hmm. So help us to just give us the strength to whatever your will is to help us endure it. Yeah, that's what that's the prayer is. You lose me on life just happens, right? Like when I talk to my higher power and I say, hey, please covet ish, protect ish, keep them in your grace, blah, blah, blah. Whatever I say when I get in my prayer bag, mm -hmm. I believe. Believe. Wholeheartedly, I believe that, yes. that he will have an yes. extra layer yes. of security or whatever the word is whatever. Mm -hmm. on him. Yeah. That don't mean life don't happen. Right. And something might not happen to him. That can still happen. It can mm -hmm. still happen. To and him. a lot of times, what you're saying, when somebody, and, and again, do you believe in um, the power of affirmations? Magnetism. I don't. Mm. I don't. I don't believe in affirmations. I want to hear her answer. 
experience. Or no. Well. You don't. Okay, cool. No, I don't. So that stands in line with what you just said. Okay. So when somebody starts believing. It's for I mean, like this. That's deep. Oh, I'm sorry. When somebody, when somebody, when somebody prays for Letitia, little mm -hmm. Letitia got kidnapped or whatever the case may be. A lot of times people pray as a formality, mm -hmm. right? They don't necessarily believe, believe in their heart of hearts that yeah. they're going to find Letitia. Mm -hmm. They, in their mind, it's saying, damn, she might be up under a ditch somewhere, mm -hmm. but they praying as a formality. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think that a lot of times when Safety net kind of thing Yeah kind of mm -hmm. Or like yo I'm still doubtful Like when you read the Bible When they start talking about prayer And how Jesus Like dog They knew it was going to happen mm -hmm. Like they knew it And when you hear some successful people talk When you hear people say Yo I knew I didn't have a doubt in my brain That this was going to come to pass mm -hmm. I think that they believed With all of their being That it was going to come to pass no, how, no matter how irrational It sounded at that point in time mm -hmm. I think that they really believed In their heart Dog I've been in situations before where I swear I didn't know how I was going to manage. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. I still had a belief that God was going to make it happen. I, I wasn't even scared. You know what I'm saying? Like, yes. I, yo, dog, you could you could need a hundred grand to close a deal. I got six grand. I got 14 days. I don't even be nervous. I just know that somehow it's going to happen. Well, I've, I've there had... goes 72 grand. Up, oh, <laughs> Yo, let me, y'all need to hold 20 real quick. Mm. And the nigga be like, all right, come get it. It just magically happens, and I didn't have a fear that it wasn't going to, to, going to happen. Mm -hmm. So I think some people just walk in that. And, and a lot of the most successful people I know, they really believe. Whether they're religious or not, they really just believe because religion is different. Like right, I was right, going to totally Religion, like, is, yeah. I mean, like, the there's just, there's they, a power, there's the power of manifestation, law of attraction, yeah, that yes, sort of thing. There's yes. people that are firm believers mm -hmm. in that. You know, and they're not religious yeah, at all. Yeah, not at all. You know, so it's I can't just, believe you don't subscribe to affirmations. Maybe. You know what? Here's the Mel. thing is, uh, look. I wouldn't even guess. To, I wouldn't even Mel, thought to Mel. ask you that. Mel, yeah. I mean, you want, I, I would say, look, I've been, go, I've been in a, in a place where like I'm doing a lot of self work, but really difficult self work, like shadow work, mm. you know? And so. What does that mean? It's, it's like a deeper self reflection. Like it's, 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 it's it, confronted. It, your shadow self is the parts of you that a long time ago you deemed to be unacceptable to show to the world. Okay. You know, it's, it's stuff that's rooted in like shame, embarrassment, humiliation, or just stuff that you just don't want anybody to know anything about. Okay. Stuff that you might, might be so subconscious that you're not even aware it's you know, there you anymore. It. You yeah, suppressed it so okay. much. Mm -hmm. So shadow work is really, it's really deep, deep stuff. Yeah. Okay. It's so, a counterweight to your persona. Uh, psychoanalyst Carl Jung said the things that people rep repress or do not like to acknowledge. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, like okay. a lot of people before they come out the closet, uh -huh. they really got it. it's a fight for them. Uh -huh. Like when they've been suppressing the fact that they might have been homosexual, okay, and you walk around acting like you manly man and all of that other stuff, and then before you come out the closet, they go through a lot of inner battles. Maybe you, not so much you, today you, you, because I mean, what you're saying is right. I'm gonna laugh. No, listen, <laughs> yo, no, my this very manly game. Shit, so shit is dope. Yo, like, yeah, no, I'm no, telling I, you, like I my cousin, I told you my cousin was gay when I was younger. He's still gay, but I'm saying when I was younger, <laughs> it wasn't as accepted in society to be gay when all of your brothers, your cousins, all of these dudes is playing sports and they manly men, mm -hmm. right? And you have different potential uh, uh, tendencies than them. Well, for you to come out now, that shit was hard for him, he said. Okay, so all respect to, I wouldn't necessarily say that hiding the fact, being in the closet as a homosexual is your shadow self because it's, it's no, really No, I'm saying, but you. a lot of dudes suppress that shit to a point where they got to face it. Especially they, back then. This, I'm talking my, my cousin. Oh, suppressing, suppressing yeah, homosexuality. Yes. F That's what I'm saying. Fair. Yes. Um, but you was funny, too. You <laughs> said the shadow was gay? <laughs> you got a gay Wait, shadow. I don't know if coming Boo. out the closet. Yes. Oh, hey, oh God. yo. I, I, was to, I was about to what do What the fuck, man? <laughs> we got we to gotta walk. Put the, put the blinker on. Put the blinker on. We need to get the I'm fuck away from here yeah, right I'm now. Parking. I'm not even, I'm leaving he the He said the shadow was a ghost. Boo. This nigga's an idiot. Don't, don't worry. Shit. You a few YouTube montages Holy away from getting shit. alert. <laughs> they gonna get them. Hey, 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 keep it up. Get, keep playing. You're doing great. Holy oh. fuck. Um, okay. Keep on playing. So, anyways, yes. you were doing your shadow to, work. I'm doing my Sorry. fucking shadow and the work. The combo was going great. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> <laughs> That's box. <laughs> Yo, if y'all watch that, that's one of the greatest. Parts of our 
time together. He really was. The Yanni and the Yoni, no, the Yanni. <laughs> that box. That's y'all talking about pussy. <laughs> Mel looked at Mario. Like, pardon. Pardon him. <laughs> hey, don't mind my friend. Oh, please. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Viola, chill. Yeah, no. Yo, y'all gotta go back and look at Mel's face. With Mel. They look at Mario. Like, oh my God. You look like Viola. Mar- Fuck you. She, she looked at Mario like, he's not even supposed to be here. <laughs> while like with that one cousin right out now. that's supposed to be in the back. Like, <laughs> no, he ain't even, my bad, dog. Like, yeah. Oh my God. Uh, you know. Okay, anyway. so I was gonna go down the whole, you know, whatever thing about shadow work. I will say this. I have not found the, maybe I haven't found the right set of affirmations that resonate with me because I feel fake saying them. So maybe it's a muscle that has not been developed. Wait, you know what I mean? But well, it's wait, like, what did he search all Yeah, because she's confusing me. No, you, I, I said, he asked me, you know, do I believe in affirmations? And I said, no. And then I, I'm, bringing it back to say, maybe I have not found the right set of affirmations for me that feel authentic to me. You don't me. be saying nice shit to yourself? Huh? You don't say nice shit to yourself? Yeah. No. See, see and see, now wait, stop wait. right now. No, no, yeah. you stop. It's not, you it's you not confusing me. Yeah, it's not necessarily at, a, like a book of affirmations this, this, that you gotta write. No, no, it's not like I, the serenity I, prayer. I, I know. It's not I, like I know, something written. I know. Wait, let us talk. You can't talk and listen. Okay. Be nice to yourself. Yes, you. I, I want to go back to that. You customize the, your your own affirmation. I understand. You can tell yourself anything in the world. Listen, I it know. Is, it don't have to be something that you like. Wake Par- up at seven thirty no, no, and hit your I affirmations. Know, like, just parts, be nice I know to that. But for the longest time, one of my coping mechanisms for ever, ever since I've been in this business, back in my, in like my early twenties and late teens, I told myself the worst shit. I ever. Say that too. In order to prepare myself for any negativity that came my way, Dude. I needed to tell myself okay. the most heinous shit so that whatever I read about myself or somebody said to me, it wouldn't land. Of course, it didn't fucking work. Same way. But this was Same. my this was my coping mechanisms and my defense mechanisms. And it's only now doing the shadow work I realize how much damage I did yeah, that yeah. I don't even have that I did not have the ability to even speak kindly or well, nicely. To myself, myself. That so, that's crazy. I, my, that I can so see that. Toxic, that's honey. dark. You want to hear? You are hold dark. Hold on, talk to Corey. Corey wanted to hear it. He was like, "Excuse me." Affirmation is it affirmation like motivating yourself? Yes. 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 That things you know, <laughs> motivating no. yourself and others to become better at a certain activity or skill. Give me an example of, a, of an affirmation. Us, yeah. I'm going to what? Go get this job. I'm going I look nice today. No, I I I can attain anything. I. I could become a millionaire in the next twelve months. I think that's just. I could do whatever. No, I'm that's gonna figure not this shit out. When you say all, you say self affirmations when you start on the air regularly. Bro, when you start, writing you say it I'm gonna figure. No matter what happens in this contract, I know he I'm does. gonna land and figure it out. That's, that's, that's your affirmation. affirmation. I don't need do every that's affirmation. affirmation. I know what you think. And you know what? And I'm telling you, it is. And know what? Affirmation. Amendment. The A's, yo. You always say that. You always say that. I do say that, but I don't look at it. No, you say it and you believe it when you say it. Fact. Yeah, but I'm not, that's not an affirmation. Yes, that's it is. Is. You say, yo, that's I don't do- give a fuck what happens up here because I'm going to land on my feet and I'm going to make it happen. That means I'm determined to do that's it. That's an affirmation. Why do y'all just fight regular yeah. shit? That's an affirmation. On, it's you, it's that's not you it. say, yo, me and Joe could break up right now. He could fire me today, and I'm going to be all right. That's an affirmation where somebody else would say, Joe could fire me right now, and I'm going to be fucked up, and I don't know how I'm going to make it. And you'll sit your ass here and say, I'm not settling. Yeah. Well, that's, I mean, it's only... That's an, an affirmation. But no, those I, are not I, affirmations to us. I, I didn't look at I'm it as an affirmation. I'm telling you, I didn't look at it as an affirmation. Based on what definition? <sighs> Webster? I'm just saying, you, well, you guys... The, are, academia, the world, the academia, it's not Webster. <laughs> the Oxford. <laughs> Look up the definition of the word. like Miriam affirm. more than Webster? Affirm. I did. Affirm is the root. Okay, I, I can't think. believe y'all too, man. Y'all have to love on yourselves better than it's this. It's not that this you don't crazy. love it. I think I love it. I think I love myself it too much. We're talking about masturbation. This explains Hold on, wait, stop. Yes. Wait, we got to be fair. You, you guys are attacking. Y'all are the two that you I guys are attacking us. Not. Why? You guys no, are attacking us because we don't we don't believe in the ideology of affirmations. That's not crazy. I don't necessarily know that I believe in the ideology of affirmation. Exactly. When you say it out loud, like it's some sort of religious cult. 
but no. you could be you should be nice to yourself. The way a that form af- is a website, the, but, but the, the way that it, <laughs> that is is like insurance or some shit yeah. like that. The way the affirmations are usually like kind of you know it's usually like a, a set of cards and I am worthy and I am loved okay. and I am blessed and I but am. That's the very that's most minimalistic. Yeah, that's nuts. When people Stay make that's when totally people make that's marketing. I know. But I, but, that, but, that, but those are the affirmations that are marketed by and large. Uh-huh. Though that's how okay. mar- affirmations are marketed to people. Have you ever done a vision board? Like no, no, not me. Not n- I know, right? Man, don't don't change. No, we don't need vision boards. You that's not vision board. It's no, in our mind. That's not yeah, true. It's huge. Ish, you that's can't, not. You are bugging. Listen, I'm not crazy. bugging. He's right. He's yeah, right. Listen, no, you're, flip. You're wrong. He's right. I'm telling I, you, I don't you, agree with Ish. I'm, you don't. You don't listen to this. Fuck he's my with, man. Fuck what Ish is saying. Right. Fuck this. This. Fuck what I'm saying. There are people, and I'm not saying that they're right. There are. People, some of the most successful people in the world in whatever their field is, mm-hmm. whatever the fuck, it could be sports, entertainment, education, Financial whatever the fuck something. their field is, they all, a certain books that all of them have read. When I used to go to real estate seminars a lot and just financial seminars, all of these rich motherfuckers would give you a list of the same books to read, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. whether they knew each other or not. So in my brain, it's, yo, niggas is getting results from these particular books. Mm -hmm. These books are setting them on a path. And when you start to read some of these books, they all tell you the same exact shit. How to condition your mind to think a specific specific way. way, So when you have a, like, people tell you, yo, write your goals down. Mm -hmm. Don't just say them. deeper. Write them down. Because you are programming your subconscious to to believe in these certain things. I agree with that. That's an affirmation. So when people make a vision board, when you walk by this shit every single Mm -hmm. day in your house, and you see those things, mm-hmm. it's doing something, whether you know it on a surface level mm-hmm. or a deeper level, mm-hmm. you want the G-Wagon, you want the house, you want this abs, you want the whatever, you are going to start subconsciously working to attain those mm-hmm. things. Mm-hmm. I believe that to be true. Mm-hmm. With every fiber of my being, I, I believe mean, that I, to be I true. I know it to be true. I just look at it as but I got to work to get it. I've argued with people and, about and, and I'm going to work to get it. And, That's plenty, how and it. Plenty, plenty of people that I know that do vision boards regularly they report the exact same thing, just success. Mm-hmm. Everything they put on the board, they attain. Mm-hmm. They work so then they, yes. so then their vision board changes because they attained they, all the they stuff. They reached those exactly. goals. They hit and goals. So, so it's, why do you not? So with those people in your life and in your network, how could you not self-doubt. believe in a vision board? It's not, self-doubt. No, it's yo. it's not that I didn't believe in it. It's just like there was more. There was just more rudimentary work to be done self-doubt. prior to even getting there. Mm-hmm. I'm telling prior you, prior to getting to writing, you can multitask. Well, I, yeah, come on. Yo, people, no, I, I listen, think people look at that shit oh, like it's no, fantasy. No, 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 like it's fantasy. Fair, listen, yeah. let's just, fair, look, not to, not to super harsh. serious I everything out, but corny. like after, when my, when my car wreck happened, my life changed completely in, in ways that, that I was not prepared for. And it, and it led me down a road in which I had to do such a level of deep self reflection that and for years. Mm-hmm. So the, there's things that just kind of like went over my head or blew past me that I didn't consider to be important at all or I considered to be a waste of time that I look back and I'm like, I kind of wish that I had devoted some energy to to that. Or nurtured you that. Know, and, and nurtured that. Well, but that's the part that's, but a lot, that's but here's more the thing. tricky to me. I know, Coming but, out of your but, accident, I was gonna in, your, no, but, in your self-reflection mode, mm-hmm. how do you not believe in affirmation? I was going like, to ask you, when you were laid up, mm-hmm. right? I didn't want to bring it up, but you mm-hmm, brought it yeah. up. Yo, you weren't just in in your conscious state. You weren't just in twenty four hour prayer. No, really. I was angry. I was so angry. I had to. I was so confused because I had a traumatic brain injury, mm-hmm, and the confusion that comes with a traumatic brain injury, like I had to, like basically, I had to go to like you know physical therapy, gait Learn therapy, how to walk, all cognitive that, yeah. you know th- mm-hmm, therapy, mm-hmm. Uh, all kinds of shit. There's words I couldn't pronounce anymore. Like my brain was so you jumped. You back, girl. You back. Thank what you. What did you think about the alive therapy, though? I was I was so angry that I survived. I had I had survivor's guilt, oh, and it okay. happens a lot of the time. Yeah. But all I could think of was that my why was my life worth saving versus child prostitutes in Calcutta. I just thought of like the most extreme things, but I just was so angry because I didn't feel like my life was worth saving because I didn't feel like... I need the number to her accountability. No, that's the deeper part, part, yo. That's the deeper part. A lot of people don't feel like, and this is real, 
especially in our community, especially, especially. And that's when I fight with y'all. In our mm-hmm. community, we really feel like, who the fuck are we to be great? Mm-hmm. We feel like, who the fuck are we to be rich? That's white people shit to be rich. That's white people shit to have nice shit. We feel like that. That's been beating us. Joe, you making a face. You are rich now. It's been a point in your life where you might feel like these things are not attainable. I don't know to be to think about what you're saying. Bro, I'm telling you, we feel like, yo, when you start reading things, be like, yo, that's white people shit. Oh, yo, you just want to be white. Like, I'm going to this class, so I'm going to, you know, doing certain things. That's the problem I have with you saying. When I'm younger, unattainable didn't mean white to me. It just looked unattainable. Gotcha. Yeah. But did some of the shit we attribute white white. attaining it? Yeah. I don't know what none of that is at the time where my brain is. Thinking, Looking at unattainable. Yeah, I don't know what. Like, no, I so, don't know that white people are granted opportunity. I don't know none of this. So, so even when we look at certain shit, again, like a vision board. I'm talking about when Dukakis is running because like, these niggas be like, Joe Biden, you stupid, you didn't know. And I'm what, talking about um, like the eighties. I used to say, like in our in our community, niggas look at vision boards like it's corny. It's corny shit. That's true. Like when you look at a mega house, that's somebody on Instagram. that don't believe true. back to our belief. That is true, right. but but yeah, no, I'm. A they don't even know you. any. They don't even know enough to believe. Yeah, they don't even know. It ain't even a, a lack that's, of belief. When you go read them, um, it's, it's go a, a read lack of fucking, knowledge. Uh, they don't know. Think and grow rich. Mm-hmm. Go read thinking. And you read it. No. I've read it. You told me you read it. No. She lied. That was, no, Rich Dad Poor Dad. Think and grow rich. No, Rich Dad Poor Dad. No, Rich Dad Poor Dad. I read, no, I read Rich Dad Poor Dad. Lying about the books and shit. No, I didn't read Think and Grow. I read <laughs> oh, Rich Dad Poor Dad. And, have a little book and I also, oh, yeah. and I read Mashimoto The Greatest Salesman kind of in the World. <laughs> like, so I've read some finance books. Yeah, I'm trying to talk over Park's joke cracking on y'all books. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Think and grow rich. It just, it just speaks to some of those things. But dog, we need, we don't really, the self-doubt to stop you dog you know well yeah read the know. books that it's just saying but mm-hmm. you have to read not all you gotta do is try it actually you're not gonna try it if actually, you think you're not gonna be actually, successful joe with the podcast right let me make it even simpler right and and my mom is just she's like the most proactive woman i know so she just has always instilled write shit down write shit down it does something it makes your brain process mm-hmm. differently mm-hmm. looking at it it changes things. Mm-hmm. even if you didn't believe it with this podcast right i'll come in here knowing the four topics that i want to hit Something about when I write it down, I, it's totally different when I write it and look at it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> now my brain get to unpacking. Remember what the, I told the, you the when topics, I first, yeah. even, I was like, yo. Before you invisible line, your eyes, <laughs> oh, ice. Whip. <laughs> Rugrats ice. Lips, yeah, before the, before the lip injection. <laughs> so I'm, I'm bringing my jacket back. But no, nah, that's what I was, same thing I was saying. It's like, yo, the way I process, I need to see. I got to see it. Mm-hmm. I just got to see it written. It could, it could mm-hmm. notes anywhere. I just have to mm-hmm. see it written down, and then I can go for Dog, it. Dog, I ordered a million whiteboards in every size in in Montclair. I damn near have one in yeah, every in, in, in every room. And in 2017, as corny as I may have thought it was, I said, you know what? I'm not playing no more. Let me get to writing some shit down. Hung it up in the room on the side. I wrote my business hopes in Al One. I wrote my personal goals in Al 2, and in 3, I wrote like some pool party shit, just like some quick one-year shit I was trying to do, right? And then I left the board. And then my girl, who sent at the time, later walks by the board and writes, I love you, baby. And don't you know, in less than a year, I had hit these whole first two rows with all the deals that was coming, and then Sin got pregnant. And I went and looked at that board and said, where the fuck was this in there? And I saw, I love you, baby, on my vision board. And I said, holy shit, Bro. she fucking got me this motherfucker. <laughs> got the editor of my vision board. And all this shit came. I typed in the motherfucker. You go writing shit on somebody's vision board. But that's how power, I, I believe, because I believe, I believe, yes, believe, I believe in that. That's what the fuck happened. And, and <laughs> even when you hear a lot of people that write down, like journals, a mm-hmm. lot of people keep journals or goals. Dog, they'll go back to a fucking journal book that's eight and nine years old mm-hmm. and see the see goals. Like, yo, and they've been smoking them mm-hmm. shits. Mm-hmm. And they be like, damn. And you really see your growth. Like, they say that they write it down for two reasons. So that they could... As a reminder. Manifest it. Mm-hmm. And then also, you look at it as a as a reference point of where you were in 2000, like you said, 2014, 2017. Should You might have had, yo, $100,000 income mm-hmm. in 2014. Nigga, you might be making seven mil a year. You see how far you came from 2014 to 2023. Mm-hmm. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, and you pinning that shit and you writing it down. And I think when you writing it down, subconsciously, you just moving toward those goals. I want both of y'all to, you know what I mean? Just get into some affirmations. Even if you don't go do I got a book for board, you. Some fly shit too. Get into some affirmations. It's dope. I'll man. give it to you. Love on yourselves properly. Affirmations doesn't mean you don't love on yourself, Joe. Mm-mm. That's what it is. Affirmation is loving on yourself. Speaking it out loud. I'm uh, Okay, I got it. Nigga, speak it in your head. It's an affirmation. Say it to I yourself. I believe it. And that's why I yourself. do it. I, I, be- I, believe, I believe that people use that as an excuse to, I believe that people, this is my opinion, people use, some people use affirmation as an excuse to, hmm, let me see if I can put this in the proper word, to, hmm, Okay, I believe people use affirmation as an excuse because some of them are lazy. I don't understand. I don't me. Get it. Yeah, you lost me. Explain. I, I can explain. Me. So, a lot of people that I see use affirmations saying, I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that or this is going to happen and speak it into existence. That's what they say. I, and when it, I feel like it's just something to motivate them, right, for that moment, mm-hmm. in my opinion, because a lot of times it hasn't happened. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It don't happen. So you're just trying to motivate yourself instead of instead of because you believe in a higher power and you believe it's just going to fall into your lap instead of getting up and doing it. I believe in getting up and going to do it. I, I believe d- I do kind of sort of. I see what you're saying. I see what yeah. you're saying. Some people I feel like that's advertise the affirmation in a there weird we go. way. That's what I'm. That's what Sometimes I'm talking about. That could be, be a little bit weird. The cute shit, or yeah. they be fronting. Um, but again, it's like people those that pray. Are the people that don't believe. Yeah, yeah. Y'all posturing. True. I used to have conversations with like uh, platonic female friends and some men actually, and they would be getting into all of the shit going on, all and, them or, terms, or whatever yeah. is fretting them, whatever they got going on at the moment. And I'm like, "Are you, are you spiritual? Like, do you believe? Do you have a belief in the higher power? Like, do you have faith?" And they would always say, "Yeah," and then get right back into negative whatever they was doing. And that's when I would say. Oh, you don't believe. Mm. You're just posturing. Mm-hmm. Mm. You're just saying because it's just it's saying the right thing. It sounds good. Say. It sound but good. the people that truly believe don't sound like this, at even all. with the problems mm. at all, bro. Mm. Like I, people that believe, can spot the people that don't. Is, I guess is what I'm saying. No matter yep. how you posture. Yep. If you're using affirmations to be on to to mask some shit, then mm-hmm. I think that's going to be easily identifiable as well. Sure. Mm-hmm. I, I don't, For me, like. Mm. You know, going back to... And even if you don't believe it, I'm sorry. Anyway. Even if you don't believe it, you're not going to try and tell your kids or future kids to have affirmation? Mm. Mm-hmm. Or to believe that they can really achieve anything that they set their mind yeah. to. I mean, but, I mean, People say but, that shit because it sounds good. Because it sounds good. They don't really believe Different They don't really believe that, bro. Really yeah, but that I shit. say that to them. You could, you could, I, I say that to them. But do you believe that they can do it? Of course I do. You could be the president of the United States, Johnny. So why do you believe People it for them and that shit? Yeah. What, 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 so why do af, why can affirmations, positive affirmation, apply to them and not to? Well, you? I don't call it affirmation. I just say you got to go, you got to get up and do it, and it, whatever you want, you can do if you put your mind to okay, it. Okay, so now that you know that that's I've affirmations, talk, you I've believe talked it. To him enough to I don't know. believe it too. I've, I've talked to him enough. I, no, I don't. I've, yeah, you do I've talked to him enough Joe, to be like, on, yo, Joe. dog, I'm gonna you do this. I'm it. gonna do that. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do that. And I get it done because I get up and go get it done. I do think there's a fine line between. Uh, belief on paper and action. Well, you got to do the Thank work. You, you got to do the work. Regardless. You have to do the work. All right, but what about the people that are saying affirmations that don't do the work? They, they, really they repeat they the same shit all the time. You watch they them hand in hand. hand so you got to do the work. Okay, got you, got you. Somebody close us out with got affirmations. It. Got it. Write some shit down, man. Salute. Write yeah. some shit down. Yeah, write get it you, down, Get your bro. pen and book. Hey, yeah. what's it going to hurt if it don't work? You right. wrote something <laughs> down. Yeah. You wrote something. Yeah, true. To affirm. To show or express a strong belief or dedication in something, such as an important idea. So when you said, yo, I'm going to have a network called Flip the Network, and you believed in yourself to go get it and attain it, and not let nothing it started your way with an affirmation. You. Yeah. I hear you. See, man, this is shit that pissed me off, yo. I was just looking over here. Now here go Travis Kelsey's other ex popping up. And she fired, too. <laughs> but popping up. Hey, Careful, yeah. Taylor. Once a cheater, always a cheater. No, no, who ain't done no talking. No, who ain't said one word. No, how no one person that you don't know how they feel about none of this shit going on. Kayla, and there is a value attached to that person. Thousand percent. I agree as with that. they okay. deal with famous 
uh, mm. celebrity people. Mm -hmm. But we was talking about this off mic. Uh, I'm still a little shocked at Ish's side in this only because of the people that we know mutually. But we brought Ish asked me who is someone that's on like the same kind of level cachet wise as the Kayla uh, Girl. Kayla woman lady. Yeah, and we just started throwing out names. One of those names was Jordan Woods. I argue that the very same thing that we're seeing happen in real time with Carl Anthony Towns is exactly what happened with Travis Kelsey and Caleb. Before Jordan Woods, Carl Anthony Towns was looked at like the big voice changing doof he is. Mm -hmm. He was not posted on no blogs nowhere. No black women was talking about this nigga nowhere. His socials, he was just goofy. You, you good, but you goofy. It took Jordan Woods, who's not as popular as him, famous as him, or wealthy as him, to do whatever she did. Girls do it, yo. That's Why what they seen with him. I, but I must it's a be little more than it's a little more than seen. seen. I must be it's under a, a rock because I don't. Know, I didn't know his social status had changed. It, it changed to a certain demographic. That's where it, it changed that. Uh, it changed. I, where it changed I didn't that. know, but that. that demo. See, and that's. I think that's at the root of our argument. That demo changes yeah. things. Now that me, demo changes. Now let things. me ask you this, Joe. Stay here. Carl Anthony Towns goes and wins three championships in a row, where he's the man. I'm listening. What's more valuable, Jordan Woods or his success? Uh, I don't think that's. And a, and I never heard a woman in my life say that Carl Anthony Towns is attractive. Women think that nigga Travis Kelsey is attractive. They did. He is he marketable. His, his personality is one that is lively <laughs> it was and out there. I've heard him speak. I've heard him laugh, joke. He seems like one of the niggas that we can hang out with. And that is your view of him that, that's as someone that witnessed him pre Kayla, post Kayla. The women did not speak of him in the same light they that did. they do now. They didn't. I, but I don't I'm know if that's post Kayla. I think that's post success. In no, football. no, no, no. It, it, yeah, it has it a lot her. to do with Kayla, it in that her. the women are speaking of him in that sense because that's a white dude. Let's let's be real. That's a white dude who it. popped out with a black woman. They love that. One of them though. One of the don't matter. They love that. They love to see that. I'm not. I'm. Not, I'm, I'm. I'm talking about. I'm not that. negating that. I'm. I'm. So Yo, in seeing that. Now it's, oh shit, he like us. We're his type. So now they and, flocked and, to and him. And he fine. So and now they he had the beard. He you. had all of the other shit. Little he was dressing with a little bit of, you know yeah, what I mean? True, true. So while they, now. While I think that's valid, and I agree with all of that, right? I want to take the race card out of it. You can't. You can't. Stop. You can't. Okay, okay, go ahead, go ahead. Let me go talk, ahead. and then please go reply. Ahead, I want to attempt to take the race card out of it for a second. For this community of women that we're speaking about mm -hmm. just being seen in a softer light next to someone that helps present you better and makes you more palatable mm -hmm. will often change that crowd's perception of a thousand that person. Thousand, yes. I can simplify I have things gone a step that. further too. I've gone through that. A thousand, I, I can simplify, I'm agreeing with you. I can simplify things a step further. When you are seen with a baddie you will attract more bad. You are going to attract bad. Facts. Facts. And then, that, and then that's, that's a fact. That's true. Too. So all yeah. of these things, I think, matter. True. He's white, blah, 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 blah. That matters. He's just being seen in a different, softer light than all of that killer football, head button, CTE shit y'all doing. And she was who she was before he got there. I'm not going to discredit who she was because he his cannot. light was so bright. True. She's who she is. True. Hey, we named another football player, and I love that example. We can't give his name, but we know his wife, mm -hmm. and she's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Beautiful, beautiful. Another one on mm -hmm. Road Rangers. <laughs> another one on <laughs> Rooftop Warriors. <laughs> but she is absolutely stunning, and True. now she's popping out on the field looking stunning. She, she, she got is. the baby. They doing yep. all this shit. Nobody gives a fuck about him. Nobody cares about that nigga. He ain't an ugly nigga either. He now and, well, he, and, 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 I, he, and he got his contract. Now no 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 no. And well, he got it. And look, hold up, stay. You all that Joe is saying is correct. Put him before y'all object. I care about him. 
person. Put me, put let's him do. on he the, the Kansas City. No, let, let no, that no. team win the championship. Three no, no, no. See, they it's still different. don't it's, give a no. It's different. Nigga, Kansas City is a, a C market. Joe, it ain't about. Listen no, no, to me. No. You're not letting me finish. I get put him do. on the Kansas City Chiefs with Magic Mahomes, yes. Kelsey, and all of the shit that they do. Them niggas are not. They are a C market. But right now, today, the Kansas City Chiefs are probably one of the highest value football teams in the NFL right now. Them niggas have been on a tear the last four or five years and getting coverage that they've never, ever, ever gotten. Okay. Now, in the first few years of Mr. Magic City Mahomes, mm -hmm. he was spoken about as the guy that's going to come into being the, the illest nigga in the world. Ever. Yes. He was spoken about like he still had the funny little haircut mm -hmm. with the funny little voice. Mm -hmm. Your brother's stupid and goofy. You lost the time. We know you're going to be that nigga soon, mm -hmm. but let's see if you could do it. That was the talk on True. him. True. He wasn't just, I'm the man, I'm box office, everybody's box office if you stand next to me. That wasn't early in It Pat was only Mahomes. two niggas was, that's box and office. And I agree with Corey. Travis Kelsey became cool before Patrick Mahomes became cool. I stand in that. No, I, I disagree. I, stand I, think, in I that. think it was simultaneous. I think it was simultaneous. I don't think that niggas just out here knew who Patrick Mahomes, I mean, knew who Travis Kelsey was, unless you played fantasy football and shit like that, before, I'm talking about publicly, like publicly, before Mahomes and the magic that he was doing. Because, dog, you got to think about this. These niggas all that's, why the niggas, that's why the niggas on highlight every five yes, minutes. Bro. It was Mahomes, and that was just his number one target. Yeah. Dog. So you were seeing the well, courtesy of Mahomes. I, I challenge that. Ty, I don't know if Kelsey was his number one target. Tyreek Hill was also pretty high on that list. He was. He his was. cachet raised zero in the time that he was there off the field. And so why are y'all telling me about Magic Mahomes? Because Tyreek Hill looks like a beetle. See, and I he just, don't have the same personal. See, I disagree with him. He's man, Tyreek. <laughs> nor, nor do I think that he looks like a beetle. What's his name, Tyreek? What? Tyreek Hill. Hill. I'm joking. I don't but, think he looks no, like listen, a beetle. But he don't have the Autumn same outcome. He's zone. the fastest man in the world. In the planet. He's in incredible shape. Yeah, like, he look, don't have the same personal, outgoing demeanor that Travis Kelsey no, has, No, he does Joe. a little bit. No, he don't. He's cool. No, he he's he on the podcast. He's, he's got, got no man podcast. personality. I'm telling y'all. He's got... That nobody knew part. Travis Kelsey had none of this shit woman. without Kayla, yo. I'm standing in that. And I'm standing in the race car. It mattered. Beetle. A lot. The I, white dude Mel, with the black woman matter. Right. Melissa Ford. What? Steve. I disagree with that. I'm saying all of these things yes. are in the gumbo pot. What you just? You just wasn't yimmy yimmy. You was talking with your big girl. Yeah, voice. how he look, Mel? <laughs> what? I feel like clunking you with this phone. Whoa. How does the man look? Can't do you? that. Can't say that. That's a charge. <laughs> um, I wouldn't say a beetle. Maybe a what? Easy on Tyreek Hill, all right? That's, that's all Yo, man. Just say it. Niggas Yo, named no. T. Hill or Ugly. Tyrone Hill, Tyreek Hill, just say it. You know what's funny about you? And, and I don't want to I don't want to say that ugly. you niggas is projecting with this whole looks thing. But I'll ask you, when did a nigga ever need to be Tyson Beckford for the ladies to put his cachet through the, through the ceiling? Never. Talk about but it. never. Talk about it. Hold up. But it ain't hurt. No, it don't hurt. I know. So when you when you got the money and the fame and the success and they deem you to be a handsome nigga, it definitely don't hurt. I don't think it's Miss Ford. Don't miss Agreed. Ford nothing, nigga. Yes. Shut up. Agreed. Don't talk okay. to her. I can't talk to her. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Dog, it's niggas out here that was him. I remember Allen Iverson was him. Mm -hmm. And they liked more than just layups. They liked the way that nigga looked. They, they, they dog, come on. I can't believe that you even inserted Allen Iverson's name in this. Mm -hmm. I'm just giving I you an example of somebody that women moment. thought were attractive. <laughs> it's a horrible example. That nigga was him. Iverson, a terrible example. Number one, I, I, he was him <laughs> already, and he, was he, brought, he brought the cultural equity with right. him wherever yes. he went. That's a fact. I'm not disagreeing with you. Example. You're moving the goalposts. I'm, I'm talking not. about my his entire physical, point, I'm talking yeah, about but wait, but his my entire physical point, attractiveness to women. I got that. My entire point is is lying on Travis Kelsey did something Aside from football, to gain the cultural equity that he has gotten. <laughs> that part. No. Okay. Right. Well, no, no, I stand to that. That's what, I, that's, that's, that's I what I've been saying. He stands to that. that. That's what did it. He for had him. to do something to get the cultural equity that he had. He, he had it more than Mahomes, who's the best football player in the world. Let me ask you this. How did y'all think that happened? Let me ask you a question. Well, partially. By dating is Patrick Mahomes has also been married since he was 16 years old or some shit. So I think let there me, is a let slight me ask difference you this, there. right? 
Gronk, I think if Pat Mahomes Gronk, was out, Gronk is a bigger public personality than Kelsey. Yeah. We can all agree to that. Fact. Mm-hmm. Yes. Cool. Who was his name? Gronk. 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 Rob Gronkowski. Gronkowski. You've seen him before. The biggest personality. You've seen him because you watch wrestling. Personality ever. is huge. Yeah. Right? Ooh. Personable, funny, silly, all of those things. Right? So you saying Gronk, would Gronk have dated um, the young lady or another young lady mm-hmm. on her same status level that Gronk would be to the black community where Travis Kelsey is? Well, I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that. That's my point. I don't understand what you're saying. That's my point. I'm saying that, he, well, don't insert Kelsey. I can't compete it to A bunch but, of but, Kelsey. But to respond to your point, if Gronk dates the popping, popping, popping black girl baddie that's Lori in Harvey. all of those. Give Gronk Lori Harvey. Whoa. Oh, yeah. then that changes things. That changes a lot. For Gronk. For Gronk, yeah. That changes things for Gronk. A thousand percent. To one demographic. That, and that's what that I kept one, saying. So what no, Ice is saying, that would get everybody so, fucking talking. No, Fuck no, that. So what Ice replied, is saying, they've been said that, yeah. and I've been replied to it. Mm-hmm. That one demographic can change how the demographics receive you. So, so Ice is saying, the that demographic one, is already receiving you a certain thank way. You. Thank you. They are everybody but that Thank one you. demographic that Y'all changed never are already receiving you a Lori certain way. Harvey made no. Gronk him. I don't know where you got the that same from. way. Y'all are saying that this girl made Travis Kelsey. Now, this nigga has some made. bad don't joints though. This nigga. But help. We're not gonna do. This made. guy Travis Kelsey has some made. bad girls, boy. Been in the league. Travis came in the league, what, 2014? He's 33, so he's probably been close to. He's probably, probably like been in close to 10 years. years. Yeah, 2014. Yeah. I want to say. Okay. Kelsey. Yes. Okay. He, he some, wasn't that popping before 2020. He had some, some nice joints. They was on. They was on him, man. Travis and Kelsey joined the league in 2013. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Look, I'm good. Mm-hmm. I'm and if you didn't know fantasy football you like that, Travis you did like not that, know bro. Travis Kelsey you on a know, wide scale right. public. You didn't know he was him not until Kayla came in. He was no. You didn't know him until the Super Bowls and Magic Mahomes came and the niggas start being on every. They still didn't know who he was. All right. They still didn't know who he was. They who? Who is they? They who is didn't they? know who he was when they he was no, no, no. the Super Bowl. They didn't know who he was. The pop general, culture. The, the pop culture, pop the general culture. public. They didn't know who he was when he was in the Super Bowl. Pop culture. Pop culture, yes. Pop culture knew that once they didn't know who he was. Oh, please, please. Pop, pop, pop culture didn't know nothing about no fucking Travis Kelsey. So now y'all contradicting yourself. He did. The girl. Kayla. In 2017, y'all just said they didn't know who he was in 2020. So which one is it? Okay, well hold on one second here. If, if they Joe said, just sat in Mel if, said they I'm still saying. didn't uh, know no, who he they was. Said, listen, we don't know. We don't know how long it took I for them to go did. public. I'm saying it was her. I'm clear in what I'm saying. I'm not, the, Joe and Mel just her. said we still didn't know who he was. Pop culture. She might. Pop culture, which I always believe is influenced by black culture so definitely, y'all could keep trying to trick influence. me with the no, whole one, one group but i think that one group made some other groups look and then the winning helped and then pat mahomes and then the tyree kill trade a bunch of things and now we just on top of the world but shit antonio gates was a good looking motherfucker his damn self and nobody ever said his name outside of no football and guess what he ain't do that's what he didn't go ahead date her no. he ain't win or they won them he didn't win shit Y'all put a lot in winning. winning. There be a lot of Nigga, do you know what happens you when you win? The looks, Joe. Y'all put a lot in the winning. Winning gets you know you the, the Super Bowl. Looks. You know the Super Bowl is the highest, most highest viewed yeah. event uh, of the year. And period, Antonio right? Gates ain't got, got the personality football publicly football that Travis like. Kelsey has. Who played in the Super Bowl two years ago? Was that Rams? Uh, Ra- Rams and Rams won. when you won, when you when you predicted who played? The Rams beat uh I don't know they beat Kansas City. Was it? No. It was, no. Cincinnati. <laughs> I'm just yeah, pointing Cincinnati. out how the Cincinnati. highest viewed game in the world. We Rams, can very Cincinnati. easily forget who was there. If it ain't well, we remember last the winners. year or yeah. <laughs> if it ain't last year or the year before, nobody remember stay, what the fuck was going on there. Here. You're going to get your ad money up. You're going to be in some commercials. You're going to get the State Farm look. That don't mean that you get... That's the cultural equity that Travis Kelsey got. I'm not disagreeing with that. What I'm the telling Buccaneers. you is a near nigga on the Rams that you're going to name, no matter how successful they are, has a public persona like Travis Kelsey. You never heard most of these niggas even speak. Ish, I'm telling you that. Cooper before, Cup, you know what he sound like? You're not responding to me. Mel, I'm, you know who Cooper Cup is? I heard, I heard, I heard. Before I heard, I heard, I heard, Kayla, you didn't know nothing about who? how Travis Kelsey sounded or thought. You didn't know none of that shit. 
All right, we we can we can move forward, bro. I, I I we can agree to disagree. I think that all of those things are a combination. You can't have some of them without the others. I think if you get right? a girl, I just don't think that, that this this dude's success is as a result of this woman. I think that y'all are are, are discrediting what he's Same. achieved. We not, we saying it's a lot of baddies out here. Dating, it's a lot of baddies out here that we know personally that are <laughs> dating bum niggas, and them niggas don't get no shine in public. Then who are the baddies? Because like we just said with Shorty's wife and Kayla, she ain't her. No, true. So publicly, who are the baddies? Because there's levels to baddiness, and sometimes even the baddies have that fucked up. But I'm here to tell you what the levels are to them if we want to talk about. Who there's the some are. baddie levels, and and you'll get a publicity bump when you date one of them. That nigga from the Nets got a publicity bump. Uh, Miles Austin got a publicity bump when he dated Kim Kardashian. I'm not disagreeing with that. What I'm telling you that. What I'm telling you is, if Miles Austin had won three Super Bowls in a row, that nigga would have been to the moon dating Kim Kardashian. Kim Kardashian wouldn't have made him. The winning would have gotten him more looks. He was a handsome nigga. He was a story that people could tell. He went to Mammoth and all of that other shit, and he would have blew up, and he would have been larger than life. That may be true. What I'm saying is, if Drea starts dating Isaiah Pacheco, mm -hmm. His social status and cachet and climate and, and how people speak Thousand about percent. him changes. And now we might bother to find out how he's going to look underneath that stupid ass fucking helmet. That can come on But again, <laughs> if he don't present himself. You can himself, clear cachet, you know that. Right? You, can, wait, you can what? You can, cl no, you, can, can, you can clear your cash, not cachet. C-H-C-H. Pronounced differently. C-A-C-H-E. Pronounced differently. Yes, sir. It's cachet. It's cash. It's cash. When you talk about like your, he's talking about the memory on your computer. Yeah, that's cash. Computer stuff. <laughs> you saying? I know yeah. what y'all talking about, but I try to. Yeah, so he I try, try to make a joke. He try to make, make a joke. joke. Yeah, yeah. Yo, yo, this thing is thank God. So look, so that's not come cash. Pacheco, when they cut the mics on no. and show him dating that's Drea. Funny. If he can't speak, if he's not personable, if he's not all of these things, when the cameras get in his face, he don't get the same shit. Okay. I'm not refuting that. Okay. If I he, respond to that with, we know people who, exactly, nigga. Re Reggie Bush. It, Women love that nigga. I'm listening. He got a list as long as my fucking. That's hate. No, it's not. That's, he has a nice right roster. Now, right that's now, reverse right, hate. Right now, that's reverse hate. hate. How? Think about it. It's he has a hate. nice roster of women that he's dated. Right this second is hate. Oh, you ignorant. <laughs> That was confirmed. <laughs> I wasn't here. That was confirmed. I was absent that day. Yeah, nigga, she don't care about your books. <laughs> oh, <laughs> niggas forgot. Oh, Y'all fucking ain't, forgot. I didn't know that was hey, confirmed. Yeah, what I mean? Yeah, what yeah, the fuck they talking about? I wasn't big male. Yeah. Big, the biggest. <laughs> we'll slide it on uh, the floor. Bum ass bitches yeah. out there can't compete. She went What they talking about? Blickety black, ah. blickety black. Yeah. Uh, it's me. <laughs> it's me. So uh, Hip Hop 50 should have honored me. It's facts. I made them careers. You said it's me instead of it's me. Oh, so listen, <laughs> Reggie Bush wasn't an outspoken popular. He was as popular as they came coming out of college. That's true. Yeah, I'm he was. Nigga had Kardashians, Fords, mm. all the cars. But you keep naming <laughs> oh. them. Yeah, I'm playing, yo. <laughs> <laughs> but he had gotta, a Ford. <laughs> Oh that nigga was seated in that board. Yeah, yeah. A uh, Ford Bronco. Yeah, look, he don't even. Look, 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 what I'm saying is this. I love this nigga. Look, you shoot Reggie crazy, son. Right? Reggie Bush is innocent. That shit people too. get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he just the wave it. Yeah, he just spray. He don't even look at it. But you get what I'm saying. Reggie Bush was larger than life. He had a, but he wasn't a public guy like that. He wasn't just out in the open, laughing, joking, just being him. He was a more reserved type of dude. So his public persona, even with all the fly chicks he's dated, and he was relatively successful when he first came in the league, it still wasn't where Travis Kelsey's is. That's that's my fundamental issue with this conversation. We keep having. You keep naming people that already possess the cultural equity. Reggie Bush. Mike Vick, Allen Iverson, <laughs> what else you naming? Black people. I'm trying to tell y'all that I that fucking matters, yo. I just got a point. Well, so what? Get, name one, one white ill person in sports that didn't need to date the black woman that's ill. I, that didn't need to. In yeah, sports? talk about the one white guy that you could say off your mind in sports that didn't need to that didn't need to date a black woman, 
and still him and still get the respect from us. Well, Larry all Bird. All, all of them. None of them. All, none of them. <laughs> Larry they Bird. don't need to do that. Larry Bird. Tom, Tom Brady is I mean, Tom Brady. White privilege is still in. Yeah, as I'm like, saying. Tom Brady is Tom Brady. I mean, I'm, yeah. what I'm saying we is just that. Just be clear. Right? Because, <laughs> <laughs> Y'all can't say that around a nigga that don't know sports. I'm taking y'all niggas serious. No, 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 no. They don't need nothing. They don't give a like, but I'm just saying. So even Kelsey don't need, he don't need, he didn't need it. No, he don't need it. No, he didn't need. He don't need. But if you listen to the stories, right, if you listen to, they talk a lot now. So if you listen to the story of how he and his brother were brought up at the same time, they said from very young, Travis Kelsey was the guy into all the cool rap music, mm-hmm. into like the, the trends, culture. fashion, mm-hmm. the, all the culture shit. Mm-hmm. And his brother Jason was with all the normal white boy shit. Yeah. Which is, yeah, but when you are white, right, and you do that, it looks what it away. says is, yeah, come on. It looks, you're you know, acceptable. You want to us. I'm not want to us, but you down with you us. Want, you're down. You you're invited be, to the cookout. Yeah. 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 I'm not saying that in a negative way. You want to be down. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. You, that appeals to it's you. Genuine. That's it's appealing it's to genuine. you. It's genuine. You look it, like a. You ally. No, you bridge the gap. You bridge the gap. And yeah, I applaud that, but that don't mean you are carrying cultural equity with you. And that's my thing with a lot of these white people that are in. What I'm saying is this though, even but when you cut the so when you cut the the cameras in front of his brother, you're not getting Travis. That's Travis's sauce that you are getting that he had from your, what y'all saying from when he was growing up. Yeah, he grew up. That in sauce it. got him, Kayla. There you go. So what I'm saying is we can't discredit that that's him. Personally, that did some of the shit for his public image. I have a question. What did Kayla do? Well, he would have had to do some of what, it. Who is Kayla? What did she do? She's a model. She's fine. She's a she's nice gorgeous lady. and she's a model. I saw her. I, I, sweet, went, sweet I went to her page. Really, really good person. You know her, Joe? Heart of gold. Yeah. She's really, a. Really good girl. Uh, Always stayed f- down. Yeah. Didn't get crazy when this nigga came around. Never lost friend. Never did none of the foul, shady shit bitches do. She just been stand up. Shout yeah. out to Kayla. She's this. a model. She's a fitness. Um, she's influencer. fine. Yeah. Not, she's fine. He wasn't known. It's more than fine. There's fine girls no, that no. ain't oh, in we, the we, club. We just, okay. okay, right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, just what we're saying. I went to a page. Yeah, all right. She's more than all right. Nah, yeah, she, yeah. She looked good, though. Yo, that fucking car, man. You used to sit. <laughs> I never even you seen a Kardashian car before. <laughs> nah. <laughs> this guy is witty. He's in all the cars. This guy is witty, boy. It's crazy. Shout out to Kayla, man. You heard him, too? He said that was confirmed. He wanted to know. <laughs> nah, I didn't know. I he wasn't was here. I, I wouldn't have took the shot. I, you know what I mean? I didn't catch one. I thought y'all was teasing him. No, nah, I, I know women man. can't talk about it, but male <laughs> roster is like, if I'm just believing the rumors, <laughs> shit, that shit is A1. That's the crazy that thing. That shit is A1. But that's the crazy thing. The rumors are crazy. And not dispelling them is crazy. Well, <laughs> I mean. But that's my C's. But that's a girl thing. That's, but no, women but, do that. But honestly, that's my yeah, C's. It always has them. been. She's out of kissing As tell. a woman, yeah. You can't, I, no, you can't dispel them. Mm. Yeah, you can't. As a nigga, they get dispelled. <laughs> women can't dispel them. Yeah, you can't. As a woman, you cannot because dispel Because what them. happens is that they list 10 and you dispel I agree. seven. Y'all are right. Then you confirm the other three. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So Y'all you just right. got to let them rock out. Y'all like right. the Like, I get... Y'all right. Yeah, exactly. You used to do it. Hmm? You used to do it. What? It. You was it? her. He's saying you was her. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, thank you. Oh, yeah. But I've been, I've never really publicly. We not chump though. I know that. Respect us in here. No, I know that. You but know, sometimes as you, you as, listen, no, no, not at all. Not no, at all. When the guests come, when the guests come, you get to look down on us. It make us feel away. No, you know, you know, you did at Hugh Hefner's party. I'm gonna keep it real. Don't let it be. Don't let it be. Don't let it be. You play possum. I do. Oh yeah, it's always a guest from out west. I, I'm, bro, no, wait, I, hold I, on. I'm Mel, it Melissa, remember the underground party, right? Melissa, Savannah. that we were at. A, a West Coast guest get in here. Melissa, we, we, we might as well get up and Melissa go sit in the room J. somewhere. Melissa J. Ford yeah. plays possum. Well, you be here. We think you down with us. You know the shit. You from she Brooklyn? She's not down with us. As yeah, soon as some other nigga come, your whole shit changed. Like who was this lady? Really, not my whole. It's like eyes wide shut. No, Mel is not. What is the password? Remember eyes wide shut? That baby, Tom Cruise. What is the press word, Japella. <laughs> you eyes wide shut. You, you the niggas behind the door. I just have always kind of kept my cards close to the vest. And you're like, I, always. I, 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 nobody want to hear not, that. Not to laugh. It's nobody want to hear that shit. I remember, I, I, well, say it cooler. What yeah, does that mean? Keep like your cards dog. close to what the vest. What does it mean? My snorkel. It, no. yeah. What does that mean? It means. And you're a liar too, man. You lie to me. You lie to me. Your cards. It means that I have never really publicly 
revealed you know, anything. Revealed anything. Like, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm wildly private. She lies, though. I, I saw a drink. Drink. <laughs> we, <Huh? laughs> oh, yeah. I don't remember drink. Drinks. Yeah, I saw a drink. Drinks. I heard about what that. About Who are you talking to? What about it? Nah, you saw some shit up there. I really didn't do. What did I say? I drink champs. You saw some shit up there. Drink nope. champs. Nope, 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 nope. 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 You be gassing niggas. Yeah. I what? never did this. I never had a fire. I never did that. All the shit. And, and you got to pry information out of you, man. It's so Yes, crazy. yes, yes. Yeah, I'm with that. Yes, I'm with her. absolutely. Right, absolutely. absolutely. Nigga, absolutely. Hey, volunteering information? Yeah. yeah. Not big on volunteering. There's value to that. Yeah. Yeah, not, it is. Not big on... But, 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 but her you want to know, okay. know why? We it's believe because, you when you tell no, us a lie. No, wait. A lot of times there's just... I'm so used to the assumptions being made about me. True. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? And then being judged upon those assumptions mm-hmm. and shit like that, that I'm just like, it doesn't even fucking matter what I say. Don't so matter. I'd rather they already just think fucking... what you want anyway. So hmm? they already think what they want anyway. So exactly. Fuck exactly. So fuck it's em. just like, I just... It's a good cleanup. I have just learned there's no point in even saying anything because... Okay. What the fuck? That's one thing. Maybe people... <laughs> you, you, you get... <laughs> well, fuck you up. Don't do we that. We get at that. you. People get at you, man. But you... Nigga, you keep niggas... <laughs> Got the secrets. Niggas can't get that shit out of nah, you solid. That, that's true. I'm wrong for making them assumptions. You don't expose none of them niggas. <laughs> I don't. That Quincy Jones house shit. <laughs> we know about that bookshelf shit that you still ain't tell us. <laughs> <laughs> All right, come on. We're dogpiling on mail. Moving right along. In the basement. Moving right along. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> Moving right along. Is there basements in LA, man? <laughs> Ice, man. Come on, man. We waited long enough. What's up? Come on, we waited long enough, man. I've been waiting to get to this topic all day long, man. What's up? You the GOAT. I said that before I knew you was. What is he talking about? I don't know. I'm curious I'm to find out myself. On one of these days over the weekend. You know what's funny? You know what I like about my algorithm? That shit don't even be sto- showing me stories from like men, oh, I like saw niggas. It, <laughs> it just be the baddies lined up. You know, I'm one of them. I look at my shit crazy when a nigga pop up like he didn't he move. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care what no nigga doing. But Ice was there. That's my man. I'm like, let me see what Ice is doing. And Ice said, I am this head ass. And I'm a head, I'm in head ass academy. So I'm looking. I'm in and he got the air freshener of his queen oh, hanging on his car. Right there in the mirror, bro. In the Dude, mirror. That's pretty right there. That was fire. Yes. That's head ass, my nigga. Yeah. That's that high funny. up there. It's high up there. Where do you even get the air freshener made? How? Yeah, yeah, I got questions, dog. And that shit smell good to the motherfucker, too. Whoa, whoa, I don't want to know. Yeah, yeah, I'm just saying, yeah, air yeah, pressure yeah, smells yeah, good. That's for you, man. <laughs> air pressure smells good. Hey, that's, that's your shit, buddy. <laughs> one of one. She was like, yo, I got you some shit. Would you, what you think? Would you, I was like, she showed it to me. I said, oh, now I'm hanging this up in the car. Oh, and so she got good. it. Yeah, she got it. So she got it made. Yeah, yeah she got it. <laughs> you go, <"Ew>, nigga. <laughs> Does that make him a simp? Yeah. What do you think? I don't think so yeah. at all. I think that's great. Hey, uh, no, that's his girl. I, I, was yeah. Yeah, you, you I just wanted well, to know by guy standards, is there guys that would I say? I also wanted to say, say that. in that simp conversation, mm-hmm. but I didn't want the audience to judge me. But now I don't care. Mm-hmm. I think you were the last person to be able to talk during a simp conversation. Why? Mm-hmm. I wasn't really talking. I was just asking. Because you're Melissa Ford. Uh huh. So what? Niggas are just automatically going to agree yeah. with anything I say. Yes. 85. I, I want to say <laughs> 90%, 90% of, a high percent. True, man. of the men in your life. Or How many times more, have you been told? Or, no. or at least temporarily. Yeah, they, get, they, they sent to you. Man, what? No. Yes. Man, yes. You yes. are a trophy. Maybe. Nigga. Let, me, let me take that back. Maybe, I'm, I'm, they put your trophy not next to the Grammys, that. nigga. She might not see <laughs> they put you your know, trophy next to the Grammys. I'll say 80. 80, 85. Niggas lie to you, man. I was going to say 90, but Mel has... From what rumor says, nigga, put it at seventy five. Have dated some niggas that have been them. Put it at seventy five. So they ain't necessarily the most simpy ish, but I think that they be simps too. I was gonna say no, they be, no, they be simpy. No, listen, but some of them niggas be arrogant as fuck. True. But what I'm saying is, um, most dudes are gonna be simpy, especially in the beginning. Temporarily, they'll be simpy. Okay, forget. You're gonna get the simp experience. Okay, but wait, wait, wait. forget yes. about forget about like romantic interest. Just Platonic male friendships. They simp for me too? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No. No. Yeah. Yes. No. You're yes. Wrong. Yes. You're wrong. So I should go based on an assumption I that mean. 85% of the men that cross my path even in a platonic manner, mm-hmm. they are just going to kowtow to anything that I say. 
I'm not telling you to go based Let me on ask any you a assumption. question. Let me ask you a question. Yeah. The people that you are referring to that are in a platonic only manner, mm-hmm. if you asked, if you tried to fuck them, would they fuck you? What percentage? What percentage? Oh, now that, 70. Come on now. That's, that, that, that would just, me, me, answer. me even answering will be some another level of arrogance. That's no, it's not. No, it's not. true. I would assume. I would assume. I would assume. Well, no, because we could just tell you. It's probably about 70%. Of no, it's, it's more, more than 70. It's 93. 97.7. It's 98.7. It's 97. Yes. It's 97.1. Smooth. I will have to defer to you guys. So now that means that these people don't necessarily have the most genuine responses. a couple girls would to your bullshit (laughs) but so years of friendship and life experience doesn't play a role at all and they they call that the long game nigga will smoke they call that the long game I played that game that's the long game man you know nigga I hate when you act like you know about the long game I think she be acting and here's the thing I'm not acting yeah, not naive acting. in any way shape or form because I have men and I have like people that I'm thinking of inside my head that I'm like no these motherfuckers do not tell me what I want to hear they tell me what I don't want to fucking hear they're so, like do you want sympathy me or do you want me to tell you what the fucking real is Mel that is how they talk salute. to me those are the, and I those value those and all, male and friendships and all seven of them niggas might not want to fuck no. <laughs> yeah, word. Like, Maybe them seven. This ain't a high number, number of fuck. people you talking about. But to me, no, but to me, those are the people that I will hey, work on. Hold on. Out no, but those swear, are the people yo, that yo, I will. Yo, no, but, yo, no, but, yo. No, but, no, but those are the people. Psych. Yo, those are the those are the men that I regard as my true friendships. Forget about okay. the associates. I got you. I got you. The associates. Yeah, the number is probably exactly where you all said it is. Stop you know, downplay it. It's standing your shit. You are. No, I know. Any niggas that come across, I'm agreeing with that. But the true blue, like, like hardcore friendships, like I'll get, perfect example is Blue, Blue Williams. Me and him have been friends for 17 years, and that motherfucker has been my rock. You have in to stop. like, please, what? Huh? Don't make me, please. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Please don't make me. <laughs> Let's just leave it. Yeah. Don't make Oh my God. Me. You guys. <laughs> That's my man. That's my man. I got, I, got, I got to call him. We got to get up, have dinner. We got to get together. But you got to stop. <laughs> that is a perfect example of a friendship, of a platonic friendship that I am I talking here. about where Salute. I can rely on that person to be completely and utterly brutally Honest. Honest with me. Yeah. Oh, that's uh, sometimes you could be that's, well, that's that independent that, of what we're talking yeah, about. Yeah, that's, yeah. That's too sometimes tough. you could be all that and still want to be. Yeah. Oh, I'm not. I. Mm, eh. What does that mean? I mean, eh. I don't know where that. that, that. that, that, that. What does that mean? That's some Michael Scott shit. What, what are you talking about? No, because the whole conversation, <laughs> the conversation <laughs> was about whether or not I can have the expectation that somebody who is going to be simping is, is going. She, yeah, exactly. Right. Is going to be simping. She's and right. for the purpose of trying to beat. Well, let me say this. And not don't want to. I know she's right. Niggas like, but well, everybody don't want like. Niggas. Everybody ain't a simp. Yeah, and that's everybody true. don't want to fuck Mel. Right. Mel, and fine. that's true. So the conversation. This, listen, advanced. We're not saying everybody. Yes, that hers. is true. We're, we're not advanced. saying everybody, but the probability is definitely a lot of niggas. Yeah, are, like, like, like I said, about. if a nigga take Mel down, he'll put, you know a young nigga or whatever. He'll put your he'll put your trophy next to the grave. I think the I think the reason why I find that so triggering is because. I like I. Meh. Why are you triggered? Hold on, just wait, 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 wait. Just wait. This. Hold on. Just because I believe oh. that somebody who just happens to be a man can see a lot of value in his friendship with me. To where you know what? We could stop it. <laughs> I'm, sorry. I'm sorry. It could be yeah. all hallelujah. You, you get, know, it you would be yeah. Okay, okay. You, you look at her <laughs> and yeah, you get it. But then <laughs> it's just like you. So fly. you, you <laughs> You come to value the human being. Who coach? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You guys are some sick For three. What's that? Me, What's no. that? It's not me, He's it on me. fire. <laughs> <laughs> What's that shit from? from? He's heating up. He's heating up. He's heating up. For two. NBA. <laughs> what? Razzle, dazzle. <laughs> Boom, what? shakalaka. Boom, shakalaka. <laughs> He's on fire. <laughs> you know what? You know what? <laughs> <laughs> Daisy, grab your fucking pocketbook. We're out of here, okay? Oh, oh shit, she wants to leave, man. Oh, shit, man. Oh, oh, man, yo. Man, them niggas love you, man. Man, you, people, yeah, man, people grew it's up fine, yeah. People grew up watching you. It's like, fine, y'all man, just saw some shit with Project Pat, a picture with you and Project <laughs> Pat. It was, like, it was like two of you. I said, yo, I forgot about her. I saw I saw that <laughs> I said, damn, Mel with him. Me too. I saw it too. She, was it in Reddit? She, she, oh, 
Why she play so many different roles? This fucking woman is. I looked at that picture and and looped up the words physically land on me. The words physically land on me. Do you know how long ago that was fucking taken? It's just. It's just. Do you know how long ago that picture was fucking taken? I think. From the culture, don't start all that shit. Don't start all that shit. I think. I think you should teach a class to women how to be deceptive. Like you are good. I swear. Like when I said, oh, I forgot she did it. The new you. I forgot this. I mean the, yeah. the the grown version, the grown is like it's not even grown. You still got it in you. Just, He's with that nigga, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Niggas like this. There's <laughs> two of you, nigga. You thought you was twin. Oh my god. <laughs> Niggas photoshopped the shit out that shit. Jesus Christ. It was two males. She was in red and blue. Show him, show this nigga. <laughs> I said, oh, oh, she don't got a twin. I said, that's me. I was, I was, I was, I had to zoom in on that shit. Oh, that's, I don't even want to talk about that. That's not M4, that's anyway, M2. Don't, don't, don't be ashamed of that. Talk. I'm not, Mel, I'm not. Mm -hmm, yeah. It's for all of those reasons mm -hmm. why a man saying, my girl gave me a cutout of herself as air freshener, and you saying, yeah, I don't yeah, see nothing simple see about that. That remember comes from, I saw it. No, man, look, remember this? Yes, I remember that. And you was lit? Is that, is that, is that two, is they're both you, correct? They are both me, yes. Okay. Yes, the one on the right is the chicken head, and the one on the left is the glamorous. <laughs> chicken, chicken. Right. Is that what? <laughs> the song. He had a song called Chicken Head. What's the one on the left? The glamorous. Salute. Re uh Respect. Look at all this Melissa Ford pictures. <laughs> Look at all this ill shit you was doing, Let's girl. Let's advance oh, this yeah. now wow. off you forgot about Melissa this? Ford's oh, Sorry. history. Show my man Ish real quick. Just don't. Yeah, I don't. She was lit. Anyway, Mel. Yep. Mm -hmm. <coughs> that's simpy. Is it? It's head ass university. <laughs> it's head assery. That's not simpy. It's head assery. It's not the same shit to me. No, it's not. Listen, I'm not semantic in it out. We staying with whatever it is. Head ass, we on that. Yeah. It's head head ass. assed out. They're cousins, but they're not the same. Now, I'm pretty head ass as well. I don't know if I'm that head ass. But my girl wouldn't even play with me like that to try it. She'll do the matching swimming trunks and all that goofy <laughs> shit. She asked me ahead of time. Cut out? She asked me. Shit. Yo, if I got you, would you? Yeah. I mean, she wouldn't did the shit. If my girl did that shit. I'd hide that shit in my dress or something. Last thing I need. No, you wouldn't. Fucking thicko up here. No, you wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm blocking my whole shit. <laughs> thicko. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Uh, no, sir, rebar. Sit your big in. ass down somewhere. <laughs> she gonna fuck you Go up. Go in the glove play. compartment <laughs> with your ass. <laughs> mm -mm. Would you do that for a dude? What? Like, would you hang up a dude cut out air freshener in your car? I mean, that's a little weird. I feel like in the reverse, it's cute. Yeah, I cute. think that's weird. Yeah, but if a, a guy's get, hey, would you hang this air freshener that's cut little, out of my face? That's standard exists. No, no, no. I didn't say he got it made. That this would be weird. This is mean, You got it made. He didn't get it made. You got it made. Oh, if I got it made? And hung it up in your shit of your dude. Well, yeah, if I got it made for myself, then yeah. But if he handed it to me, I'd be like. Uh, Handing it is, is weird. Oh, I'm like, what? You, where'd you get this? But hanging up, you do that. If I did it myself, then obviously, okay. yeah. Okay. Would you do that? Would you get it made yourself? No. It's Mafia, okay. right on tour. There we go. No. But, no. But I don't well, I hang. I think that's head ass. Huh? Yeah. We'll just wait. Huh? And I, think, I think that's cap. I don't. I'd probably do other head ass shit. Cat. Like what? Like what? I don't want to. That, my mom went somewhere else. Forget it. Let's. <laughs> Come on. You guys got to give me some examples of head ass shit. Blankets with dude's face on it. <laughs> <laughs> you did that before? Yeah. No. Or, or no. a blanket with like the lyrics to his favorite song. <laughs> or the song that he wrote. I'll, I'll just say yeah. he can do or better. That. Apple bottom jeans. Boot. No, my God. Oh, shit. Tell me as you heard that lately. <laughs> I mean, like... Head ass shit that I've done, or I don't know. Like, she hit the floor. <laughs> <laughs> Next thing you know, oh my god, sure he got low, stop low, it, low, 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 low. You try to get like, low, low, low. <laughs> and Viola, chill. You try to get like, match it, match it pajamas and shit. Ow! Don't hit me. I'm pretty head ass. I'm pretty head ass. But match your pajamas? That, that is real. Match your pajamas. Match That's what she tried to do. Pajamas. I did that before, yeah. Yeah, I'm in. I'm in. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Just ask. It makes them happy. That's entry level head ass. Yeah, I feel like. that's yeah. yeah. Trying to think of some more head ass. Tattoos. Shit. 
Mm-mm. Whoa. Slow down now. Nope. Would you get your girl's tattoo? I don't have no tattoos. I'm getting my girl name on me somewhere. Okay. My girl's going. What's today? We arguing uh, about the weird. On the third. I want to put it like at the back of my ankle somewhere. <laughs> I want to put it underneath my watch band. Right <laughs> she can talk about no, that wrist. All right, but just hold up. Let me find my tattoo artist. She can talk. She can damn, 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 nigga booked up for a year. <laughs> nigga booked up for decades. Oh, oh, shit. That's crazy. I'm so happy my man blew up. <laughs> he flew to the He tied a Cali. Yo, he took off. He's a yeah. wait list. That's shit crazy. Holy shit. That's funny. Is These stupid tattoos? ass young couples out there is fucking it up for me because some of them niggas is getting a tattoo. She catch every one of her algorithms, send it right to me. Beep. Look. <laughs> you got tattoos in? Look. Oh shit. Zero. Zero. Wow. Wow. Well, you actually no, got the have. ring and shit. Yeah, no so tattoos in either? It's a little that's, different. That's different. Yeah, yeah, that's different. Only me and Joe got tattoos. Once you get the ring. Mm-hmm. This is sanctioned head ass. Yeah, yeah you're you taking out the tattoo. <laughs> yeah, 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 you, you, you. For me, it's the t- t- it's one and up. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, pick, pick your poison. Of course, you go pick the ring over the tattoo. I'm I'm my girl going next week to get a tattoo. I'm gonna have a prenup talk soon. Let me get it out the way. Just yeah, have you ever? This may get you in trouble, but um, you thought of how your wedding would be. I th- I, yes, let me just answer and say yes. Got it. We gonna tear that shit up. Like, we can be lit. I'm in there. Sometimes I see it as not to depress the room. Oh. Sometimes I see it as either the, the most joyous, littest kind of gathering that this could be, like compound on a million. <laughs> I don't think that's. And then other, yeah, other times I see it as like Unless you the do like smallest, most, most intimate. intimate, true, true, tiny gathering where nobody damn near even knows anything. That's of course, impressive. mom and pops and shit that's like fine. that. The people no, that yeah, I'm not talking about them. I'm just yeah, talking yeah. about like all of the pictures and all the yeah. social media. The congrats and da 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 da. That's when you get into your uh, beliefs versus the Her. woman's yeah. beliefs, right? Yeah. Because yeah. imagine saying that to your that partner. Work. I think some girls do that shit, right? What? Some girls do it. I mean, do, do what? They mine probably yeah. won't. The the a lot some of girls nobody do knows. It. A lot of girls prefer the people that know. I called. It was my family. They was there. But all that yeah. pictures sharing, yada 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 yada. I'm not doing. It. Are those girls meeting? marrying famous people? Hmm? Are those girls marrying famous people? I don't know. No, we've seen famous weddings that nobody yeah, knew. That's about. true. That's true. We've seen famous weddings that had 17 people there, 15 people there. I just think it depends on what that. There also is happy me. You, even if you didn't want to blast it out on social media, you probably still want a photographer and videographer yeah, yeah, to capture yeah, the yeah, moment. Yeah, sure. Of course, and maybe you put out a picture or and something. And I post some pictures. Yeah. yeah, I like how y'all do it. Y'all, you, you, and you, you, that wasn't overdone. And whatever went out was the fly shit in the world. And that was that. That's it was it. simple, but and we got like a, bu- a bunch more. But we kept. Nah, that's, everybody and another that's thing, right? Like I don't know if the old I get. I ain't paying for no big stupid wedding. I'll pay for a small stupid wedding. <laughs> Bro, I know people spent two and three hundred bands mm-hmm. on a wedding. On a wedding, yeah. And was divorced two, two years later. Bands. When I, yeah, that, that was be, small when modest. I was broke. When I was searching, I didn't know nothing. I didn't have no, no information. I'm talking and I about went people just that looking are at nine venues. to fivers that spend three hundred. Venues grand. in Jersey was like, oh yeah, you can get this space for the afternoon for three. Wait for three what? Three hundred thousand. And then for the food and the plate, we have packages. You can get this mm-hmm. for four and five. And it's like, wait, what? Oh, I don't All know right, what I'm out of here. What you went to? I went to some you to like the shit mark. in Jersey. This nigga <laughs> went to the Prudential Center. You what know, you went I to? I went to some flyers. <laughs> 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 what the fuck are you talking about? Hey, he just did some big shit. Normally, the food is the customer. The food yes. comes with the package. Yes. Yes. Mark, they'll they'll ask you. How many, if you have a big wedding, Joe, how many people? auntie cooking. If you had a big wedding, how many people? I'm not having no big wedding. Actually, let me call and tell them. No, wait, wait. No, no, Joe, wait. No, no, ask, <laughs> before you go. Don't get in trouble, Joe. If you was to have a big wedding. I ain't getting in trouble. If you was to have a big wedding. I'm paying for it. Joe, listen. If you was to have a big wedding, how many people are you projecting to be there? I'm not like, having a big wedding. If you were. If she said you're oh, joking. Oh, back then? Yes. Back, back then when I was thinking about that, it was over 200 people. Easy. Over. Easy. Mm. By the time you, because if you, if you have it, this is for me. When we got to writing the names down mm-hmm. of the people on your side that if we going big, they can't miss it. Mm-hmm. And yeah. if I'm going big, they can't miss it. Yeah. It was over 200 people. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Easy. That's it easy. was over 200 yeah, people. Bro, now you're talking about 200 people at $300 a plate. That's a cheap plate. For what? For this area and... Yeah. So Park said that's cheap. For so around here? Yeah. What's normal? Four? Five? 
I mean, I can't speak of that. I can speak to what I paid. No, I'm saying you said that's a cheap plate for around here for gotcha. New York City area. Uh-huh. That's that's inexpensive. So, so what would be? What's a, what's a, what's a good plate, Parks? I mean, I would have seven? to imagine they would probably be in the seven ish range for something. Okay. And what food come with that, Parks? I would imagine. Food? Is it? For that's the plaza. medium that's the plaza? In, in New York. Is, is it, is it plaza? good food parks that come with that? Yo, that's the plaza. Yeah, the food will be good. Let me yeah. check. <laughs> Dang. Yeah. This, this wedding about to be BYOF. <laughs> <laughs> I we would imagine it's be more expensive. BYOF. Bring your own, own food, food, nigga. We got a whole bunch of Chick fil A number ones in there. <laughs> that nigga, you, see how, you know how Donald Trump Yo. had the, the football team out there with the Big Macs lined up? <laughs> nigga, you grab crack. what you want. You're a crackhead. You're a crackhead. I hear what you're saying. Bring your own food. That's a fact. That's true. If you eat before the, you get here, chefs. that's true. So but with the but the pl- oh, you talking about just Yo, mad chefs? The one. Plaza Hotel salute says that they have a unique wedding package. Uh, starts at three seventy five per person, up to two hundred feet and uh, two hundred people. Starts at yeah. That's that starts at. That's very. But the Plaza is like super duper popular. It is. That's yeah. why it starts at yeah. starts a green at. pea. A green pea. <laughs> <Word. laughs> right, so that's for the chicken tenders and yeah, <laughs> yeah you get a Mc, McNugget or some shit. For the, I would imagine that a nice wedding in the New York metropolitan area, the plates would probably be around six, seven hundred a plate. I would auntie. imagine. Yeah, come on, I'll have fry some fish just to do it. See what's going on up in this piece. Yo, wait, wait, wait. Three hundred seventy-five dollars per plate. That's seventy-five thousand. Talk nigga. about that. Hold on. Mm-hmm. I'm good. Hold on, yo. Let me put my headphones on while I set you straight. <laughs> Yo. Yeah. If I was to get married to somebody. Hello, can you hear me? I'm listening. No, if you was to get married to somebody, how many people you wanted the wedding? Um, I don't know. Let's see, let me hang up on you. I don't want like a I don't want a humongous wedding, but I would like a, you know. Like what? Just her side. No. It's me. I'm Total. Here. Girl, I'm recording. I ain't got time for the laugh, and I need a number. What's, what's considered humongous? Like 200? It's totally up to you. Oh, 200. It's totally on you. She said 200. Oh, well, um, a couple hundred. Okay. I'll call you back. Bye. Yep. Marriage yep. off the table. That's <laughs> 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 all that one. <laughs> But she didn't even say to. Bro, you get the 200 people in your sleep. Yeah. 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 You have a lot of people there. You have a big one. It'll be a lot of people. I think it'll no, be more that's why I'm going to work on her. Think I'm about gonna... this. Your birthday party, I'm right? changing this. You had to downsize on your birthday party. Yeah, but, yeah, but that mean? was it was 20 a, people, 30 people. It's a birthday. I know. No, it was 40 people. 40 uh, people and nobody came. Well, no, that's not true. No, people came. To come, come yeah, to, to, came. For you. Yeah, for you. Yeah. For you. She's crazy, though. You. I'm, we, so you have a big, you, you may have a big wedding, Joe. I'm telling you, I'm not. Absolutely. And when I get home, so I'm listen to this: the 40 people that you have, plus, <laughs> you have big yo, the 40 people you have plus their one is 80 right there. Mm-hmm. That's 80 right there. And and you, and my story, I'm not getting the 40. Everybody that was at your birthday party would be invited to your wedding. Put me on the spot. I'm asking. <laughs> Put me on. You the don't spot. gotta say oh, yes. Say no. so no, you say don't gotta no? say the names of the people that you're saying no to. Oh well, no. Yeah, if it was 40 of them, 30 of them are invited. I think I can have a wedding with 50 people. No, you can't. I don't, I don't see that. Yeah, I don't see that. Possible. Just your yeah, maybe, side? maybe just your side. Yo, yeah. Maybe. Right. I don't think so. That's 25 of the okay. plus one. That's, five, that's All right, 25 What I'm people. saying to y'all is if it's not that, then it's not an intimate wedding. Like, what are we looking at as an You're intimate right. wedding? Oh, no, 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 intimate, intimate wedding means, hey, slice that shit. True, but your partner Agreed. would once it has to be on the same page well, to want to have an intimate, yeah, we, intimate well, wedding. If she doesn't want to, no, we got to talk. It has to be. It's going to be a big one. No, we got to go like, and talk. I, I, <laughs> no, I, that's the but show. you got the money. Though. For, intimate is like a hundred. You got the money to do a big one, Joe. I don't mean cut you. Got, no, you got, intimate uh, is not a hundred. Yeah. No, to me, intimate would be fifty. Intimate is sixty people. Total. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. That's sides. intimate. That's intimate. I don't think he can get to sixty. I don't think so either. I think I. You gotta add plus ones. You don't have to. It's your wedding. But, but you gonna say no plus ones? Yeah. 
Are you crazy? You niggas that's not married, don't come to my wedding Facts. and pretend yeah. to be married. If yeah. you're single, get your single ass over here. Don't just go forcing Tanya that you just met yesterday to the wedding to have a plus one. I don't like got that. It. There's got a, it. There's, a, there's a middle ground for that. You yeah. might not be married, but you could be in a, a relationship. Oh, then, then you get a plus one. Oh, that's right. right. And you get a plus one. Gotcha. But you nigga, don't go just because you come I'll to go the wedding. Go looking for a date. Go looking, looking for, for yeah, yeah, I'm gotcha. inviting you. Yeah. And when the invite ain't going to say you plus one or you and somebody else name. They're going to they gonna RSVP. Yeah, me plus one. Go yeah, on. it's kind of crazy. I don't even think about that now. Y'all never thought about this? Yeah, I did. Like, I, I, so, thought, I thought about just going away. Mm-hmm. That's, that's one way people elope, right? That's, that's yeah. one way people do it a lot is to do a destination that kind of slims down your call, yeah. call back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, your your big dog. Yeah, she bothered me. Got an idea for she you. She bothered me a little bit. Now. <laughs> Hold up. Hold up now. Hold up cuz she might have just been pogging. I got to get this off before I get home. Okay, what I'm saying is this. You believe in marriage. Like that's like a thing. So if you got a nigga that's ready to, that's saying, yo, let's just run off, me and you, get married, nobody know, or we bring our closest 10 people a piece like they do in the movies, best man or some shit, you wouldn't do that or consider that? And we'll talk about this later off microphone. I told you I wanted, I told you I wanted a destination wedding and come back and have a big reception, which is just your close family that goes with you to wherever. I don't need that big, like, but I want something big later, like for all of our friends and family that can't make it. Big reception is food still, right? Yeah. The reception, is, the reception is the money. Yeah, yeah, that's where the money at. The reception is the money. Yeah, but Michael Paul had shit at his house uh, with yeah, caters. Yeah. There's a cheap way to do it. Park did is. it the right way. Yeah, there's ways to do it. There's ways to do it. We don't have to just spend frivolously. All right, hey, baby, we'll talk later. You can spend 30000 mm. Don't hang up the phone. I'm going to ask a question. Uh, oh, Flip has a question for you. Hey, okay. hey Sade. Hi. So we was, I was over here talking to Joe, and you know we were uh, going back and forth about how big the wedding should be. And uh -huh. I just told him that I think that the wedding should be a nice size, about 200 people. And yeah, you know, I told him that, so. Three. 300, 300 people. <laughs> and he's not agreeing with that. He said he has to have a conversation <laughs> when he gets home. So I just want to let you know we support. 350. We support yeah. you guys, <laughs> and we support you. And Now, you know, to, to Flip's point, I did say, <laughs> I am going to know a lot more people in 2040. So who knows? Oh, yo. <laughs> <laughs> it, it might be 300, but hello? Yo, this <laughs> nigga's stupid. You heard me? If you think, if you think I'm going to be old and gray waiting for your ass till 2040, you out your goddamn mind. That's facts. Tell my audience. Salute. <laughs> tell my audience, baby. I, I did. <laughs> I did. All right, how long I got? I tell me. I'll take that card and buy my homework. Hey. <laughs> oh, she mad at me now. Look at you. I'm going to fuck you up because I don't play with you like that. All right, bye. I love bye. You. Baby, we'll talk later away from these people. Mm. Oh, okay. <laughs> bye. <laughs> I'm going to get you. I owe you now. Nah, nah. I owe you. It's too late. I owe nah. you. What's wrong? Your family. Yeah, huh? oh, that's his family. Oh yeah, yeah. He, what he said about my kids when they came here. What he said about my kids. I owed him back. What he said about my kids. I owed him for that. Yo, Flip never let that go. Nigga though. said it was a daycare. Nigga looked around, got up, walked, walked around. He stood there and watched. He had to look. My daughter came over there and said he's watching right there with his head on his hip, looking around. Fuck that. Yo, she said we got it. And then that's the day Imani brought his son too. He said, oh, shit. <laughs> I think there's a way to have a big reception and not go. There's a way for it to be done. I still love how Tamir did the food when we went to his shit. That, that was yeah. the fly shit I ever seen at a wedding. Yeah. I ain't never seen nothing like that. Not that I'm wedding man, but he had a station of everything. That's food. what they do. You can do it. That's the first time. That's what I did. Yeah, that's what Park did. Yeah. He had a station of everything. No, then I'm not explaining it properly. What Tamir did is different from what everybody else did. Like, when I say a station for everything, there was a person and a big display grand of every single food article you could think of, from mm. sushi to Asian to Italian to oh, charcuterie okay. to grill. Somebody had a wedding to, like that? To any meat yeah. that you could imagine. That's like, fire. It was all around. It was a huge room full of stations. Got it. Mm. And he had, what's he? He's something. What's he? He's Middle Eastern. So, yeah, so yeah. it was Middle Eastern chefs. He he had a chef from every culture, 
at that wow. motherfucker. That's, hard. That's dope. That's, That's what I'm saying. Yeah, That's he so he clearly spent. It was ridiculous what he did, but everybody was happy. Mm. And then that was the pre shit. That's the pre shit. That was the pre. Because the entrees ain't in that. No, shit. yeah, no, that was pre. That was like just some. That's fire. Cocktail. That and then it was the shit. wedding. And then we sat down at the tables, and it was all of that. Like I left there real pleased. <laughs> Some weddings you go to and you don't be. How pleased. much you gave him? That's my thing with that that we won't talk about. I hated the food. How much you gave him? Hated that. Not only did I hate the food, I hated the experience in he getting the that food. One-ish. Huh? <laughs> you huh? ducking that one ish? Oh, I said, how what? much you left him? Left who? To me. Uh, I sent him a couple dollars. It wasn't a whole lot. It's a couple hundred dollars. Are you gonna wear black? That'd be the thing. Uh-huh. Like niggas be coming to these weddings when you go into some shit. You know, I had a card. I gave him a card. For sure with something in it. You do that. <laughs> you get it from me. I'll cash up you some shit. Man, niggas a go, boy. I seen, yo, this is the real rap. You, you know I'm the quote unquote math guy. So my peoples, I went you, to a wedding. You got the dollar ball and bat question wrong. You're not the math. <laughs> no. I'm still He ain't gonna let that shit yo, go. Yo, <laughs> so I'm I'm my homegirl had got married mm-hmm. and uh they left literally left the reception and went straight to the airport. Mm-hmm. So she had uh, given the, the bag and the money and all that shit to her sister-in-law. Mm-hmm. So I'm helping them, right? I'm helping them count the money on the way to the airport. Dog, niggas was giving them $45. <sighs> niggas was giving them $75. People was giving $100, shit like that. And it's like, yo, fam. <laughs> Let me tell you. you my, should, my, my grandfather, right? It gets <laughs> got, like that. He yeah. has a, a habit of this shit. So the last time we did it was his 65th birthday, right? And he, he did it himself. He wanted to have a big party. All the family from down south. So he flew everybody up here who wanted to come up. And it was like anybody who gave a card with some bullshit in it, he sent that shit right back to him. Like opened the card, saw, oh, $20? You know what? Take your card back. Like he petty like that. <laughs> and was literally mailing niggas their cards back. Like, yo, he, with the money know, in it? With the money in it. Like, yo, don't even keep that. Like it, it, it was disrespect. Like, yo, you came up here. It was this grand event. And that's what you gave? Cool. You got it. What's the appropriate number to give? They supposedly the say you're supposed to pay for your plate. Yeah. Pay for your plate. You're supposed to pay for your plate. Correct. Mm-hmm. You're supposed to pay for your plate. So you got to so that, guess to so me. So that the yeah. people don't take a loss, you pay for your plate. Yeah. So if the plate, you think the plate's going to be 300 a pop, you pay $600 if you got a plus yeah, one. you got a plus one. You know what I'm saying? Shit like that. that that's customary. Yeah, that's customary. Like I don't think I never gave Like I've been My nigga One of the best weddings I ever went to Was my man And they had his shit His reception at a uh, You know like the fucking Knights of Columbus mm-hmm. the, the halls Yeah They rented the hall They had I swear to God They had Mad Popeyes They had The, the aluminum tins Of um Collard greens, mashed potatoes, yeah. all that shit. Mm-hmm. Dog, everybody danced for hours. It was probably one of the best wedding receptions I've ever been to in my life. Mm. That's how you do it. The shit was fire. And it was all close friends, niggas that knew you since elementary school. So they know you ain't got it. You don't got nobody to impress. It's your loved ones. And niggas had a ball. I got a favorite alcohol too? Yes. It probably yeah, you got to have an open bar. You don't have no cash bar. Yeah, you don't have no cash bar. Damn. And yeah, shit got to be top shelf. I mean, it's got to be decent show. Decent, yeah. Jameson, Henny. Mm-hmm. Not no uh, Smirnoff. No Smirnoff. <laughs> Not no Maj- Majorska. <laughs> yeah. Word, put a Frosé machine yeah, on Yeah, man. Yo, for the past hour or two, three hours, <laughs> I've been Googling chat GT, G- GPT, whatever. I even got it on YouTube where a lady from... Wherever this lady is from, <laughs> talking about the bat and the ball. So Joe asked a question. He said, if the bat and the ball cost a dollar and ten cent to- total. Total. total, and yeah. the bat is, a, is dollar more a dollar more than the ball, how much does the ball cost? Right. I'm listening to so listen. I'm listening I'm break, to these people. Bro, you ain't got to do that. Listen, listen. It's algebra. If, if, if you if you because you saying the ball I, should be ten cent, right? No algebra. No, we, we all said that at first. Right, we all said that. But right. now, but what, we hold, all on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What's a dollar more than ten cent? A dollar more than ten cent would be a dollar twenty, I guess. No, no, no. Just just take ten cent. A dollar more than ten cent is what? 
Oh, 90 cent. So if 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 if, if the ball is huh? 10 cent. What? No, 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 no. I, I get what he's saying. What how's that it's no. a, listen, listen, just listen to me. You're right. Premium content. <laughs> the most, no, 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 the no, no, most no. premium. Anybody in here make fun of me? I'm, 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 I'm not. I'm listening. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm coming at you, Mel, because you stuck to me. If the ball Mel. was 10 cent, for it to be a total of a dollar 10, that would mean that the bat, you, it's a 90 cent difference now. So you was right when you said 90 cent. For the ball, for the bat to be a dollar more, and the total be a dollar 10, it has to be five cent. It has to be. Because if the if the, if the bat was a dollar more oh, than the ball, the ball is 10 cents. Me, ten the cent the ball would be 10 cents. The, the bat would now be a dollar and 10 cents. That's a dollar, a dollar more. more. So now it'd be a dollar 20. So you're over your, your ticket. You're over. If the ball wait, is wait, wait. 10 cent uh-huh. and the bat is a dollar, that's 90 cent more. That's not a dollar more. Got it. So the ball would have to be five cent. So you could have a dollar more than five cent, which would be a dollar five plus, plus which five will, plus five will equal the dollar ten. Got it. So when you said ninety cent, I know what you were saying. Yeah, my, yeah. nigga, I had a headache. Nigga, I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> what am I missing, nigga? <laughs> if it's better, you got to do the X thing. I swear, you know, my, it's watch this, nigga. I'm sure you're nigga. He's not your ally in this. He's not my ally. No, he mad sure. as hell. <laughs> Explain that shit to me. <laughs> he went to chat G- G- I G- did. I'm like, what the fuck is going well, no, on? Like, wait, what am I it missing? Because it's the dollar more part. I got the, it. The dollar more changes it, not just. But if you do, like, if you said it, the bat was a dollar, then it would be 10 cent, but it's a dollar more. A dollar and 10 cent is 90 it. cent more, not a dollar more. Got it. Thank you, Ice. <laughs> no problem. And that's bro. fucked up, nigga. You, you believe in making nah, fun of people ass. instead of teaching. I didn't that's say true. You nothing. my man. That's true. You said the same shit I said, but I mean, you figured it out I mean, after. No, don't touch me. I you mean, my man. You when did I make fun of that nigga? You, I see your face. Yeah. That's in your foot. Let me, you see what he just I did? I didn't say nothing. You face from up there. You done sad, dude. I didn't say nothing. He got a different angle. But you making faces. You my man. I'm not making no faces. It hurt Faces make him sad. Do hurt his feelings. Hey, Flip, talk about Stop potting. It do hurt his feelings. Stop potting. When you do that, 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 when you Thank you, I didn't have to talk to him like you that. You my man. What I, what I said to you. You made a face. Like, <laughs> yeah, like, oh, he started you know humming and shit like Big Mama used to do. All when niggas said something stupid, Big Mama said, what's four plus four, baby? <laughs> if Johnny had five apples. <laughs> <laughs> Big Mama said five. He took some old school Five fucking apples. <laughs> you little stupid motherfucker. Yeah, they talk to you <laughs> Five apples. They put their hands up in your face. Uh-huh. Five. No, one, no. Two, where my, three, no. Four, five. Where my my belt, with my belt. I ain't got yo, no time for this shit. Count on my fingers. Yo, what, <laughs> count. Yo, give me, give me my belt out that drawer. One. We gonna learn two, this nigga, shit. You today. be crying, <laughs> fucking up. Two, three, four, five. Okay. Now take Plus, away three. Yeah. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Six, seven. <laughs> Smack it. Smack it. Dude, that shit stressed them out so much. Fam. Yeah. And they that. didn't put us in tutors. They didn't put us in tutoring. It was cheap. <laughs> they didn't put us in tutoring. I mean, I mean, when I was coming up, there was free tutoring, but not when I was younger, younger. There wasn't free like that Don't in school. you talk about tutoring, then you skipping the whole concept of school, which was to create slaves and workers. Oh, man. Hey, man. <laughs> All right. <laughs> in the water. <laughs> Wait in the water. Children. Wait. Y'all, no, 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 hey, y'all keep singing. I know, I'll pull it. I'll pull up a me. Stop throwing the niggas with content. Shit, we good. Pull it up. I think it was Henry Ford. No, no, that was a five day five day work week. Henry Ford. No, but it related to. Now I got to go find it. It was one of the Rockefellers that basically said we own yeah, the society got, of yes, the Rockefeller society of workers. We but they said that he got it from Henry Ford. Well, when Henry Ford did some shit, because he was the one that did that five day work week bullshit. Yeah, that, they related. Yeah, and That's then it, they it tied into yeah, that. Let's feed into this. You're right, yeah. brainiac ass nigga. You That's still right. got the dollar shit wrong. I know. <laughs> you know, I ain't gonna fuck about that. I ain't gonna you no math no more. I right, know, right. Now numbers call your ish. Nah, you know what? Never mind, nah, big dog. Let me call Google. I'm, I'm gonna use the calculator. <laughs> <laughs> this is stupid, yo. Um... I don't have anything else that's near and dear to my heart that Did I need Did Batman to share. have superpowers? No. No. Yes. no. That, yes. Don't do that. No. White, yes. pri- white yes. privilege. Now we talking. <laughs> Fuck y'all. Now we yes. Talking. Yes, he did. White, white privilege. privilege. Fuck y'all. It was white privilege. No, it wasn't. Get the ball. It was Thank white you. privilege. Hit him. It was white privilege. 
<laughs> fucking disrespecting Batman like that, yo. No. What was his superpower? He was a master detective. He was rich and white. Oh, so was Gil Grissom. From CSI. Had no superpowers. Nigga. So he was my exes. Hey, the nigga from <laughs> yeah, word, word. The nigga from that other law and order, criminal intent. So was he. <laughs> Fuck out of here. We're not disrespecting Batman. John D. Rockefeller. He founded the Board of Education. Yeah. Mm. He said, "I don't no, want." I knew a nation. he was right. I don't want a nation of thinkers. Yeah, I want we know. A you know, history is math that we don't trust. No, you go ahead. Judgment you go, on you read the shit. Know better. You read know. the shit. No, that's just what he did. He... Read it. I just read it, nigga. No, the whole you quote. Your voice you started off. with the. I don't, don't want, want a nation, nation of thinkers. There's more. I want a na- No, I don't want a nation of thinkers. I want a nation of workers. So the whole board oh. of education system was designed so that you yeah. could graduate high school and become a worker. Work. That quote goes. Join the workforce. That, like yo, the workforce is designed for you to be like yo. It's the hamster the, world, the old thing was yo, get with a good company, stay there for twenty to twenty five years, and get your pension. Mm-hmm. That was the whole thing. So now they working on right now redesigning. The elites is redesigning right now because it's fucked up. Like yo, now. Uh, 401ks They redesigned the niggas 401ks You can't go borrow Out of your 401k no more Only what you put in So before if you wanted to go buy a house Some jump, some jobs Now if you want to go buy a house You could go get Like if you needed 80 grand down in your, To put down in your house You had 250 in your 401k You could go borrow it If you wanted to send your kids to college, you could borrow. If it was uh, hardship or dire need, you could borrow it. Now they won't even let you do that. This is my favorite part of talking to my accountant, too. All of this shit that you're saying right now. This shit is crazy, bro. Yo, put all that money in your retirement fund, whatever the fuck. Okay, yeah, but then I lose the money. Nah, you can access it, but there'll be a fee. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But your money. To borrow your own money. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Run it by me. The ball in the back course. <laughs> <laughs> no bullshit. No, the thing, my thing I'm be, yo, here. when you turn 65, I don't like, you gonna yeah. have seven, niggas, some niggas don't make it to 65. Get my money now. How you feeling about that, honestly? Get my money. I never invested in a 401k, an IRA, a nothing since I bought my first house. Oh, really? I've never, no. You don't subscribe to that? Never. To any of that? I think it's good for people that don't know how to invest their own money. But I just think that you could start, nigga, Ian and Red Panda showing niggas how to invest their own money. What the fuck I'm giving it to the 401k people for? Well, Ian and Red Panda and all them niggas also uh, preach good retirement practices and trusts and yeah, all your that own, shit. Yeah, y- your own retirement practices. Well, yeah, yeah. I'm not letting That's, some other motherfucker. Oh, so you do still subscribe to? Of course. To, okay, no, I'm, I'm not asking. letting some other motherfucker invest my money, take it, Make billions from it and give me crumbs back. Yes, you are. You got a bank. I don't. I don't put my money in banks like that. They store my money temporarily. I make my money work. Okay. You understand what I'm saying? I'm not trying to be funny on no, no, like, no cocky shit or none of that. Like if you got a hundred grand sitting in the bank, I think that's crazy. Temporarily, but I think you need to start finding ways to use that hundred grand. I'm with you. You get what I'm saying? Because the bank totally giving you what point like oh two percent. Like put it towards crazy. a wedding. It's, 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 it might be less than. <laughs> it that. might be less than that. Looking at it, looking that at looking dropped. at it is a, is, a, is a waste. Yeah. Looking at it is a waste. But we as and I'm not going to do this and I'm not going to lead him there. But we, you know, we, we condition so we like to look at it. True. But we're not used to having it. And so, and oh nigga, shit. When inflation, when inflation is high as it is, a hundred grand in 2022 is ninety seven grand in 2023. So you kind of really losing money based on inflation. And I just want to say real quick that uh, that Rockefeller quote, it wasn't his quote. He stole it? No, he never said that. Who said mm. it? Was, it was a, a bad paraphrase of his advisor, Frank, Frank, Frederick Taylor Gates. I just pulled that up. They, it hasn't been attributed to Rockefeller. Rockefeller. Well, it was his people. Yeah, but it's his people that yeah. said something yeah. similar to that, and then they just kind of paraphrased it in... Said that he said. A quote attributed to John D. Rockefeller, patriarch of the Rockefeller political dynasty and former richest man on earth, is often used as an example of how they quote unquote elites, elites. Mm-hmm. view the public education as a way to create more workers in furtherance of capitalism and the preservation of their status. Mm-hmm. Keep going. Rock, uh, I went straight to Snopes, who breaks down I don't know shit like that. I've explained what Snopes was before on here, and they haven't been able to. Confirmed that Rockefeller said it, but his man's 
said something similar. Okay, well, one thing I can guarantee you, Patronis, is whoever said it, dead as hell. (laughs) (laughs) And they family rich as fuck. He's a rich as fuck. Dead and gone. (laughs) Maggot food. It's, oh man, oh, it's over. That's fucked up, nigga. We all gonna be maggot food. I know some people don't accept death. You ain't gotta accept it. What's coming got to do with the maggots eating? <laughs> you ain't gotta accept it. I said I respect the people. You know, I just started to become. Like Richard Pryor said that's the ultimate test, and we ain't seen a nigga to pass it yet. Mm. They did Richard Pryor, Pryor the dark side of yeah, comedy yeah. shit. Mm. That, that dice clay shit, man. He was wilding. Mm. He was wilding, 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 wilding. Good while and bad while. Bad while. But, I mean, that was the time. Mm-hmm. That don't exonerate anything. I was just looking. They have a couple of those dark side. Dark side of the 90s, dark side of the 2000s. Yeah, that's you just Dark said. side of comedy. They're doing more. Yeah, I'm But start- this next dark side, dark side of comedy, though, is very well done. It's it's better done than the dark side of the 2000s and the because 90s. Because that's so broad, those. you got to cover 10, 10 years. With dark side of comedy, you could get into the individuals and their lives and shit like that. Well, and, right, like, when I looked up Dark Side of the 2000s, as a black person, none of it resonated with me. As a human, it resonated with me because I was there. But episode one, the end of TRL. Episode two, the rise of the shock jock. Episode three, the fall of the shock jock. Like, it was... So, so, so. I mean, that was a big, big deal back then. The last episode of TRL. Like, that's what they was doing. The fall of the, uh, the 2000s ones. And it was like, I remember all that, so that's fly, but... Don't care. I don't care. Who gives a fuck? The The comedy shit. The first two episodes of season two, episode one is Robin Williams, episode two is Sam Kennison. Out of here. You could imagine. Out of here. Right there. Them two right there. So are they, are they, what what, 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 what are they getting their sources from? Just, they're not talking to any family, are they talking to family members? Everybody. Are they talking to people that, okay, right. When they do these shit, they do them right. The people that was there, the the first club you hosted, your first boyfriend, your first girlfriend, like, they got it. I'm going to go watch it. Vice is known for their No, I know, but I thought they were going down in, in, in shambles, so now, but it looked like they're making a comeback. Well, the well, word was they went down or they sold or they I thought went they under. finished. Well, they was done. So I don't... But that don't mean that... Them, I think. That don't mean that Vice can't produce or prior Their valuation or basically shrunk by like hundreds of millions of dollars. At Got one it. point, they were valued at like over like $2 billion and now... Their valuation is, is like at like 180 News mil. Has always been fired. Their journalism is But yeah, they're jur- they've yeah. always been known for they their want, I tell you, they wanted to hire me to drive the bus. They had a bus in front of there. Viceland. Oh, okay. Yeah, Sam but Kinnison, I fucked it up, bro. That's gonna be. I don't know what's better out of that and Robin Williams. October seventeenth and October twenty fourth. So I will be watching both of those. Don't let them get in the fucking Anthony Bourdain. I know, but still. You see, haven't you seen the documentary Roadrunner? Okay. I didn't love it. Mm. What's home? I, personal. Oh, but yeah. don't hunt me. Okay. And you made a face with the hunt. Did you watch Parts Unknown? Yeah. Okay. I'm hmm. following you. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> well, she playing with me. No. Oh, boy. She playing yeah. with me. Disrespect you. <laughs> a little bit. I didn't even understand the second question. Why? why did, how did you get to the second question from the first question? I just wondered if you were like a Did fan. you love the doc? Uh... I did. I did really like it. Okay. You I watched did. it too, right? I didn't watch it. I did really like it. I didn't love it. It was all too sad. Well, yeah. Because well, the end story, result is that he, uh, is he well, dies. We're not having this conversation not, with you no more. That's not necessarily true. What doc? That's not necessarily true. It's a sad story. What doc? What doc? Yes. Road that has nothing story, to do with um, how Anthony we Bourdain. produced a doc. Yes, the story is sad. Okay. I'm talking about how this was produced. Oh, I, I didn't know that that was what you meant. They got sad. They highlighted him briefly with his rise. And like the second he got sad, which was very early on, everybody involved couldn't tell a story. They was all crying from 30 minutes on. Oh. That's not enjoyable. I was looking for more of just into him and the genius that is him and what he did in a celebratory fashion, but everybody was depressed talking about it. So him. I feel like the last episode they shot um, of uh, Parts Unknown was um, was in Texas, like by the Rio Grande and whatnot, like the border of Mexico and whatnot. And then the following episode or two episodes was really just kind of like how Parts Unknown came to be. 
Um, and like, I guess his last, mm -hmm. you know, last moments and stuff like that. So in itself, it, it functioned kind of as a prelude yeah. to the documentary. Closing, yeah. yeah. Cause his friends closed it. Yeah. Yeah. So I feel like it's useful to watch that in addition to Roadrunner because you're right. Roadrunner is, everybody was just devastated when they were like, yeah. Versus, did you see, I don't remember the name of it right now, but Robin Williams has a piece that's kind of like Roadrunner, where mm. it was his people, uh, birth and on, telling the whole story, into the mental health, into how he, and that was like the best shit ever. I haven't seen it. Oh, you should watch I'll go that. look for it. You should watch that. Okay. I wish I knew the name of it, but if you Google it, it was more Because it was more objective? They did a better job of explaining everything, highs and lows. It wasn't so, it was emotional because it's emotional. Mm -hmm. But they were able to really, his friends <clears throat> perfectly described the genius of him even in their emotions and the story, how they pieced it together. Gotcha. You left with a different understanding of Robin Williams, right? Like he's, a, you left, you acknowledged that he was a much deeper mind they told the behind the scenes with the movies, the deep movies, how the role changes. They just painted the picture. I felt like the same could have been done for Anthony Bourdain because his mind, I put him on the same kind of level and it, it just... It was nah, all dark. They capped. It was all dark? Yeah. The Bourdain shit, yeah. I think his friends... I, I would like, God forbid, I meet my untimely death for my doc to be... A celebration, celebration of, your of my life. life, and maybe at the end you can get into the sad shit, but the, like, don't make it all sad. That's, but the thing that I got for from some this, of these geniuses, like, I don't want to hear yeah, all sad. The thing that I got from watching Roadrunner was the tragedy is that so many of them felt like they could have saved him. That was the tragedy that they felt like befell befell them, and that was their sadness is that they felt like one thing differently that they had could have done. Each of them felt this way that they could have stopped him from doing what he was what he did. You see how, you, and you gonna say? You see I know your brain going. Mm -hmm. I know your brain. Even going. Even in that, no. Like when you watch it, if you explain this properly to him, like if you explain him right, you know nobody could have saved him. I was about to say the arrogance. Nobody could have saved. Stop him from. Nobody could have saved him. Not him. The brain that was he. He used. Y'all niggas used to be over here recording them kids with the food. That nigga used to dip. Leave y'all. He went to the to the network to fight with them and force them to let's go do the war. Put me in the war. Hey, we're not supposed to do it. We can't do it. Man, fuck what y'all talking about. We out here. We going. Like, there was just a way. The thinker that he was, his friends couldn't do it. His friends couldn't do it. Not dumb that they showed. The trailer was much better than how What's I What's the name of the Bobby uh, Bourdain? Whatever Road Runner. Road Anthony Runner. Bourdain. Anthony Bourdain. Road, Road Runner. Runner. Oh, he's a chef. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Got it. And author. And but he, he did a bunch of shit. Bunch of shit. Mm-hmm. I yeah, I can't even call him a chef. Yeah. yeah, I can't call him a chef. He chefed for a little bit. Yeah. He might have. That might have been his entryway. Oh, he but, chefed for a long time. Seventeen. Yeah, years. but see, as they were explaining that, they cut to him saying, "Yo, I don't want a chef." They cut to him saying, "I don't want to be a chef. That's not what my. I'm using the food and the restaurant as a as And they mm -hmm. didn't really do him. He was I'm just an brilliant. explorer, traveler, slash, da, yeah. da, 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 and I'm just using the cooking as the entryway to go to all these other countries. Yes. And mm -hmm. really, and, and really. They cut, um, they, that was too quick for me, that cut from how he was advancing or mm -hmm. pivoting. Mm -hmm. Pivoting. But whatever. Watch it for yourself. The Robin mm -hmm. Williams one. I'll watch it. Definitely watch Bye it. Friday. I'll try to Google it and get you the name because okay. that one is different. You can put that right in the group chat. No, I good. will. Mm -hmm. It'll make you look at one hour photo totally different. That's one of my favorite oh movies. Oh my God, anyway. so creepy, so good. One of his best movies. Everybody and, here and saw really, a one hour photo? Yeah, it's been a long time, but yeah. You no, haven't seen it? Come, oh, come you got to see it. Hmm? Robin Williams, is that the one you're talking about? I'm pretty sure. Who makes that? Yeah. HBO. That's the one. Yeah. yeah, it's called Come Inside My Mind. Yeah. That's the mm -hmm. pause too. Yeah, major come on, pause. Come on, yo, what you doing? <laughs> hey, listen, I'm, I was helping you out, fam. <laughs> you came in this month? Oh, wow. Uh, yo, come on, come on. Oh, Patronis. Oh, wow. was just asking it's been you fun. Patronis. <laughs> it has been such yeah, a blast. Yeah, with the bomb. <laughs> oh, oh. I feel like these niggas know when to do that just to go home. <laughs> yeah. New Joe Biden.